Okay. Way back. Do we have the coveted transcoding? No, we do not. Dude. Hi, Amethyst. Um, let me do my Discord and my Twitter before I forget. I wouldn't think that it would be like a busy stream evening, but I mean, it's like just Wednesday. I guess it's also day before Thanksgiving, so probably a lot of people are off work. I don't know. Unfortunate, but I'll live with it. So we've got to take this off, this rather elderly, but still like freaking phenomenal manicure that I'm kind of like sad to part with just because it really has been very nice um but I hope you guys are all doing well I'm still not feeling tippity toppity hey son but we're gonna we're gonna make it happen we have to decide while we're taking this off I need to be thinking about how the night version is actually going to work. Um, he's very sloppy. Do I want to use both colors? Do I want to use one of these designs? Or I also had the thought... Do like, you know the this the vinyl would be about like that so that would be the vinyl i'll do it like that so it looks like the vinyl we could do one color at the tip and then another color sponged down here to do both colors the other thing and then it would be black you know at the cuticle fading into the sponged one and then a clean black line and then the other color the other thing we have to figure out before we actually start the manicure is if I'm doing full, well, it's not a full man, half manicures, or if I'm doing accent nails. <laughs> oh, that's absurd, Amethyst. So, um, like I said, this is a 10 day old Manny and it managed to reach this elderly age because we used actual, real, genuine base coat. So we have to use actual, real, genuine polish remover now. Um, yeah, fucking decisions, dude. I'm, I don't know. I've been over several times how I feel, so I'm not gonna again but like I'm not <laughs> I'm not all here I do apologize and I'll leave it at that but um I think I, I had a couple other additional thoughts too on the greenery which was I mean hands down the failure <clears throat> out of last night's testing I'm just you know um like, I pulled out the Color Club Neon Green because I it came to me, I remembered that when we were testing those, I was so pleasantly surprised that that Neon Green was opaque over black. Um, and another thought, too, was do I want it to be over black or do I want it to be over maybe like a dark blue or maybe over like a sparkly black because we also had those colors from that color club haul which might work uh very well together enjoy your lyric purple yeah i guess a lot of places do close early on thanksgiving eve unofficially if nothing else but why are you waiting until Thanksgiving Eve last minute type of like <laughs> oh, oh. alright we got Grinch fingers I 
Like my tiredness wants me to just do like accent nails, but I, I, I don't know that I want to do accent nails for the whole series. It, it feels just a little bit like, I don't know if I want to say a cop out, but like low effort. Hey Lorca, welcome. Ooh. Okay, my fingers are cold because acetone is cold. Like and and too like when I picture like there's nothing wrong with accent nails. Like I'm just realizing I'm just about to like rip into accent nails. But like when I think of like looking down at my hands, possibly almost especially because we're splitting the hands already and my hands are already not gonna match, and then we're gonna throw in there that there's an accent nail and then the rest of the nails are just whatever fucking, you know? <sighs> hey, Gidge. I don't know. I mean, I don't have very much time left to decide that. I need to... <sighs> I need to make up my mind. Um... Yeah, these come off pretty nice. I mean, this is a lot of layers. I maybe should have let this soak a little longer. I didn't really think about that. Two coats of cheap champagne and then a flaky and a unicorn skin and top and base. Hey, Sam. I hope the editing goes well. Hey, Sparkle. Welcome. I, I don't know if I would say well, but I'm pushing through. <laughs> hey, Ray Ray. Welcome. And I've got a little bit of tea left today, so that's a good thing. Hey, like. <laughs> I really enjoyed that manicure. I probably should have given you guys some flashlight time before I took it off. <laughs> Sorry, my chair is so squeaky. I'm just trying to scoot a little bit closer to the desk. Um. So yeah, I. Oh, that one's a little bit more stubborn. That that's kind of what it looked like. <laughs> um. Hey, Spacey. I I I just don't know. Like, I think there's no reason why um, each of the designs couldn't stand alone. I mean, it's not like it's a, like a design that goes between, between nails or anything. Like, it certainly can stand alone on each nail. I just, I mean, I don't, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's in my, it's like, it's in my head. Like, there's not going to be anybody that's like, oh my gosh, how come you only did accent nails? Like, people are going to know why. It's because this is fucking a lot. <laughs> yeah, you start saying hi, and then like, literally while you're like typing hi, other people say hi, and then it's like, oh wait, also hi these people. And then it repeats itself into infinity. <laughs> um, I did have a tiny, tiny break last night, but it's fine. I don't even know what I did. I just all of a sudden noticed that my nail was like catching on things. I broke off a, a little small corner of uh, that one, my right, my right index. Like from Nightbot. Welcome, Sam. The entire chat is gr glad to see you. Something like that or some shit. <laughs> I don't know. That'd be a race to see who, who highs first. Or just to, or for people coming in. Hi, chat. Sam is glad to see each and every one of you. <laughs> Everyone says hi to everyone. Okay. Yeah. 
Mm. So I'll sh- I'll show the sketchbook again in a minute. We I I did some brainstorming offline of like idea wise, and I I mentioned a lot of that in in Discord. Days one and two. Once we kind of had sketched out and done a little bit more, I kind of looked at what what I usually do is like start off quote unquote easy and kind of work up in terms of difficulty. I don't I don't know why it makes sense to me just seems like that's the way that it ought to be because like a finale you can't like that that that's why i guess because the day 12 should be a finale and the finale can't just be some shit after there's been like phenomenality earlier in the series right so the entire the, the entire series is building toward the finale okay it makes sense like why did i have myself convinced that it was in my head and it didn't make sense i don't know um so laying things out in order of uh difficulty of course water marbles will be day 11 and 12 um oh three nails lingo oof also i'm probably missing some chat i apologize i'm uh i'm trying my best uh Yarn for you. Welcome. I'm on TV today. Oh, goodness. <laughs> you know, it's sometimes like, I forget who was supposed to picture of their cat watching Bean. And of course, like, I'm I'm there too. It's, I mean, I, I know, I understand you guys are watching me, but it's weird to think about you guys watching me at the same time. Also, Yarnforia, it took me like three tries mentally to not say your name is Yarnphobia. Like, I could see it. I could see it with my eyeballs that there was no B there. But like... um, mm. Yeah. (laughs) exactly sparkle so we got a little bit more of a slopey side on oh i turned off the autofocus didn't i I could probably turn that back on now that the extremely shiny manicure is gone um or maybe the okay so like you you can kind of visualize there like i basically just smoothed it out um I'll, i'll maybe do like a quick file before we get started um let, let me just finish taking off this little remaindery remaindery stuff <laughs> yeah i know good <laughs> an interesting movie uh darn your hulk like strength <laughs> uh um so yeah, the, the days one and two, we're going to be working on like some bling sponging with some vinyls. Um, the day version is stripes and then the night version is uh, to be determined. Uh, the theme is day and night for the series. And to to help simplify and and give myself a little bit more time, we're doing day and night. So instead of having to record... I mean, I'm still recording 12 tutorials, but it will only be six manicures. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that it helps. Mm. Um, it's not bad. I mean, like I said, this wasn't just the, uh, the cheap, cheap champagne. This was cheap champagne and gold flaky and unicorn skin and top coat and base coat so that's six layers um and i mean there's glitters around (laughs) i might actually even have to go wash my hands because they're not just i mean it's coming off my nails but it's also like you know i'd be a little bit distracting in the next tutorial hey sam a beanie treat um but yeah i wouldn't say they're bad just just a couple little stubborn glitters that aren't too much of a problem really 
It, I mean, it is, it's, it's a little, I'm, I'm not shocked by that. I mean, it is what it is. I, I don't feel like I needed to, you know, like wrap my tips in foil or like it was particularly, um, like a struggle or anything. Um, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the treat, Sam. I'm literally gonna just sit here and talk about how I'm gonna get the treat until I get the treat or I might forget. <laughs> soon as I just finish getting under the edges here. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll be using Peely Base for, for this, of course, even with a, with a more abbreviated schedule. Doing six instead of doing 12 will allow us to do tutorials every three days instead of every other days and some days one day right after each other. Zoya Tawny. I'm trying to... I'm pretty sure... I, oh, wait. Is Tawny... No, that's Tangy. That's a green. What color is Tawny? I feel like maybe it's a bronzish. Here you go, buddy. Nom, nom, nom. Good boy, Baines. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, Zoya. Zoya's on my mind. Because of that sale. And I don't even know, like, if I looked at that collection, it wasn't like, ooh, immediate. But it's like, I like it. That's cheap. I don't know what else I would get, but, like, I'm sure I could find something. For anybody who doesn't know... It's in the sales section on Discord. Oh yeah, you heard that. You get two more treats. Zoya is having to spend 35 and get one gauge treat. Two gauge treat. Spend $35 and get their whole ass what the fuck is it called? Intriguing? Is that it? The whole intriguing collection for free. Oh, I I have the Zoya that's in my name. I don't know that they even make it anymore. Maybe they do. Zoya doesn't discontinue colors often, but sometimes they do. Like some of my very very older colors. Um, I want to give my cuticles a quick push. Um, oh, we were gonna. I was gonna show you guys the the sketchbook so these are very kind of generalized because i was just doing it with a paintbrush the actual plan is to sponge the uh purple and the blue flaky taco over silver will be the day and then black will be the night but i'm not sure what i'm gonna do for the black like if i want to do like some sort of a french tip looking thing or if I want to do like a cuticle, some sort of a situation, or if I want to use, just like pick one of the colors, or if I want to like use both colors. I suppose, no, cause I don't want to pick, I was going to say I could pick one color for day and one color for night, or I could even use the same color for day and night, but I want the stripes to have both. And if I use both on the stripes, I feel like I should probably also use both in the whatever night turns out to be. Oh. Oh, hey, some beanie pets from Stacy. Also, hi, Ego. Yeah, hello. Hi, handsome. Good boy. Um. Hey, Mr. Shredo. No, the, the, um, blah, blah. the flaky, the color, the blah, blah. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm having trouble finding my words. The colored flakies aren't silver flakies in a colored base. They're colored flakies. Um, they sponge like this. So it's going to be like pretty intense. It should match up. 
with gift receipt really well. I'm getting there. I saw it. She's just impatient. She could see it right here. <laughs> I said I was going to go over the whole notebook for people who weren't here last night. A sponge gradient of both. Maybe. I, I don't want to... I, just a gradient doesn't feel like a tutorial to me. Like I was saying, just layering doesn't feel like a tutorial for me. And I want to add something else to it. Plus the vinyls would be another way to tie the two days together. <clears throat> um, I think so, Sparkle. He's, uh, he's adopted from the Humane Society, so I don't have like any real history on him or anything. Mm. Yes, I know, Gidge, but... learn patience yeah no we're gonna let's see here this box um oops okay so day will be gift receipt is the base and then these sponged and then night will be the black as the base with these sponged like day will be actually blingier than night but night will be like that slick kind of black and bling because these are just I mean it kind of takes some work to get them that opaque like you can kind of see here, they don't necessarily, oh, the camera does not want to focus on this. They don't necessarily want to blend together really well, which is why the idea of using the French tip vinyl to segment it and actually do both of the colors, but separated kind of appeals to me. But I can't visualize if I would prefer a blue tip with a purple, like gradiented -er base or a purple tip with a blue gradiented -er, grad gradiented -er? You know what I'm saying. This this would be the vinyl. This would be like a solid sponging. And this this would be like a fading out kind of a sponging. Like not like a full gradient. Because I'm not going to like also have black on the sponge. I, I guess it's still a gradient. I don't know you guys. I'm trying to explain. I don't know how good of a job I'm doing. Mm. Learning patience is hard. Yeah. Mm. yeah i know dino dino would it would your idea would i mean if this probably isn't your idea but i am considering like maybe swapping in one of these for one of the nights like that blue especially is like popping to me. Come on, come on, camera. You wanna the only the only way you could tell it's blue is when I literally hold it next to the black. If I just hold it here on its own, like it it wants to pretend that it's black. <laughs> what are words? Mm. What the heck and heck? <laughs> um, these are so this like this all came about. So and the one that I was thinking that it would be like to use it like okay. So I thought like because the color okay, we're we're getting ahead of ourselves, you guys. You have to wait. <laughs> I need to like keep my brain on track, or we're gonna be here till three in the morning. Let me finish the the summary. Day three and four is like shattered glass sort of situation. We got we got cellophane. We got yards of fucking cellophane, dude. Like they look different over black and over white. This is the same order. One, two, one, two. We we just did this. We were kind of just like looking at it. I have a thought that maybe like we we use both on both and we like feather the triangles together. Not necessarily like tightly interlocked, but like, you know, meep, meep, type of situation. Um Days five and six is like was the least successful testing last night. I want to do like some sort of greenery, like a tree or a wreath or a garland. And I don't like how none of these greens turned out. And camera, why are you fucking me like this? Anyway, 
after stream, I was like, what about the Color Club Green? Because it's so fucking opaque over black, right? This right here. That one, I mean. So then I also was thinking, you know, like the 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 mint money would have like brought that bling. We would have had the black background with the mint money on top. That would have not not that this is you know bling, but I like mixing textures and stuff. So I was like, well, if I'm going to not have the green be a sparkly metallic foil, I'm going to have the green be a cream. What if the background is no longer boring? So uh, the black is color club don't quit and the very very deep blue is don't think twice you know you don't want to show that camera you don't want to yeah don't think twice um these are star studded collection they dry textured but it's not a super craggy sort of a texture it definitely can be smoothed out with a top coat um would be interesting to consider whether I would want to do like a layer of top coat and then do the green and then finish with another top coat to ensure that they were fully, fully smooth. Also, how tech, if how textured they are would impact how, um, like how the, how the green painted on. And then I was thinking too, well, for day, same thing. If we're replacing the, the mixture of textures by replacing the green from that, to that then like do we want like a color for day and I don't I don't know though because like I have this brighter blue same same like collection like that might actually I, I don't know if it's bright light enough to like satisfy like the daylight desire but also for night but also though for night fucking also the bright blue i'm sorry you guys you guys want to know i know the bright blue is fine to balance this uh deep matte navy is been there done matte so what if what if that's our night sky you know i still don't i don't know if i have anything like that though that would read like oh 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 i forgot about this one <gasps> Look it, look it. Now is the time. Ooh. Okay, probably. Anyway, we're that's we're not even fucking with that today. We need to do more testing for this because I hate all that, and these things are all gonna be involved with that. I don't know how much chat I just missed. I just knew I had to like concentrate to get the words out. Maybe I don't know. Mint money reads very silver when it's painted but yeah like we'll we'll see <laughs> not matte well no it's not good if i use it it's gonna have a top coat on it's not gonna be matte oh well can't i don't know if i could do a candle i don't know about christmas lights i probably not berries because i've done berries before i thought about like plain or like some kind of like beaded cord or chain like woo -woo around it I don't know hey whimsy oh the the mat one you mean we have swatches though it's uh actually that's not as dark as I thought of course that's over black that's the blue matte and glossy there's the that that's it right there yeah that drank the top coat too if we do that if we do that we'd probably do it top coat then paint then top coat again look at this too this almost is as shiny as a uh, gift receipt the silver not quite as flaky of a shimmer camera could you could you try to focus could you just put in like a smallest amount of effort the answer is no anyway those are my thoughts that's day five and six so that'll be okay we're one and two today thursday friday saturday will be days three and four 
Sunday, Monday, next Tuesday will be the greenery. We need to sort out the greenery by next Tuesday. Or we can switcheroo it with day seven and eight, which is some kind of opal situation. And these don't look very different on camera. And I may or may not have like put my hand down directly in these and like messed them up a little bit. But like it, it's an opal type of a situation of layered unicorn skins. Um, and then the tentative plan with that is like to figure out some kind of like swirly design pattern situation to go on top reminiscent of some kind of baroque brooch 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 can somebody i don't know if anybody ever in the world <laughs> told me which is it brooch or is it fucking brooch it's brooch it's got to be brooch right poinsettias Ooh, i don't know i mean they're gonna be small i don't know if i could do small poinsettias that small like Yeah, like it would be so small. Like it's gum. This is. I did a pretty good. Well, not these. But like these up here and these are pretty close to nail size little swatches. Anyway, explanations. So we got to do something for the opals. And then down here, we have. Well, this, this one didn't work out for reasons. Don't, don't, just don't, don't worry about that. Uh, pigment stamping snowflakes um like that's not gonna be too complicated i don't think musical wait a minute roof and roof 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 rough roof i'm trying to think how to pronounce roof two different roof roof like to some people i really like Ooh. <laughs> i don't i don't know if my brain can handle thinking too hard about words right now but hello and welcome. Mm. <laughs> um, no, it'll be it'll be like every three days. Sparkles. We have our calendar here, so we start recording today, the twenty third. We start uploading uh, Sunday, the sixth, and we finish uploading on Thursday, the seventeenth. So we could finish recording like as late as the 16th i'd rather not do that it would be very likely we have 22 days to do 12 tutorials which at this point now though will only be six manicures so <sighs> roof with the o like food food roof Rough with the old like book. Rook, rook, book, <laughs> rook. <laughs> Let me just stop. Um, okay, so we're starting today. Today is design one. So we'll have two days in between. Instead of like every other day. Like if we were doing 12 tutorials in 22 days, that's, l that's less time than two days of manicure. If we're doing six manicures in 22 days, that's three to four days per manicure. But if we stick with three days, then I end up with extra editing leeway at the end of the tutorial. So we'll call it one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, that's even faster than I thought. <laughs> Why do I have this X here? Like that was going to be it. I don't know. A anyway. Um. Wait to. Oh my gosh, it is. Okay, that's the only wrong date on here. I hope. No, because I was looking at a calendar when I wrote this. Or is that supposed to be a five and I just can't write numbers? Okay, look. The 24th is obviously followed by the 23rd you guys I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> i'm telling you i'm trying to write it out and be like organized i guess that date wasn't a date that mattered until we had figured out the other dates anyway this is at least partially right <laughs> and yeah hmm 
Oh, it wasn't a... Oh, maybe that's... I mean, that could be... I mean, I have start on here twice. <laughs> now I have multiple ones on here. Anyway... We, uh, we have more time than if we were just doing day and then night by doing day and night. That's why we decided to do that. Um, oh, and then days 11 and 12, of course, our water marble and the white water marbles failed spectacularly. And the black ones were a lesson in always try your colors dripped in both directions because one turned out clearly, clearly better than the other. You, you are welcome to use your eyeballs to see which, and my hands are not that steady, but that's okay, because we're not freehanding tonight. We're only going to be using vinyls and sponges. Yeah, the second start is the YouTube upload. I remember, like, the sixth is in my head. I, I had figured that out even... Beanie? Beanie? come back here where are you going where are you going hi you doing what 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 are you doing <laughs> um hi red did i say hi to zuli i you guys Okay, so, like, this is actually pretty good. As for with a black base, we also considered, well, you know, do we actually need to include red and black, or red and black, black or white, in the marble? Because just using the colors themselves over, like, a black base and a white base, like, the marble is just... He, he did... Okay, we, we lost Bean. It's, it's, that's the way it is. Um, would be quite different. Anyway, the water marbling went half well. The water marbling went well enough. Um, I already knew that the red and the green marbled because I marbled with the whole collection when it came out. So, what we have to decide today... What are you, Beanie? <laughs> Beanie! Oh, there are treats redeemed. <laughs> he almost fell. <laughs> Turn around so quick, he almost fell with your little fat butt. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. One. Oh. Basenji, thank you for the host. Two. Um, whether we're doing accent nails, I'm kind of leaning away from it, except I'm fucking tired of shit. <laughs> and whether we're doing, like, what we're doing on the night version, other than sponging flakies. <laughs> I mean, can you guys hear that? He's, he's fucking with shit over there. I mean, some might say it's my fault for having shit to be fucked with, but I mean, that's not the point. Just because there's a pile of stuff over there doesn't mean that you need to fuck with it, Bainey. I don't, I don't even know why he wants to mess with that stuff. Whew. He has to protect. <laughs> yeah, this sounds kind of like a treat bag because it's wrapped in plastic. Better investigate. I mean, spiders or centipedes certainly are pot. Like, I... So... I try not to think about it too often. I know for a fact there's like the biggest fucking daddy of centipedes in the world that lives under my bed. 
So he could be fucking with him. And I know because I've seen him and failed to kill him. Okay. Anyway, so like that could be it. But like, man, he goes about like the loudest, like most difficult route possible to get under my bed. And now I don't even hear him. So what are you doing down there, Bainey? I don't know if you guys could hear all the crinkling and stuff on, 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 well, not on camera because he's not on camera, but I don't know if y'all could hear that. Where? Stuff of nightmares, dude, I know. You don't understand, man. <sighs> like he came right at me. I was like, you know, like on the side of the bed and I had to like, <gasps> like damsel in distress pull my feet up and then like he went under the bed and I was like oh, oh, oh. <sighs> you made it out Bainey now what <laughs> mm. yeah so anyway, like if, if he can find that fucker and, and eat his legs off, more power to him. Hey, wait, no, don't mess with that. No, Beanie. Okay, hold on. Don't, that's not for beans. That's not for beans. God, I can't leave anything out. It's not a cat toy. Here, you want a cat toy? <laughs> okay he likes that it's a little catnip sock get your yaya's albany <laughs> oh flamingo <laughs> the only question then is how to how to how, you know how do you if you if you scream that like opens the <laughs> okay let's change the subject um my nails don't have any breaks for the first time in like a year you guys right it was shortly after the new year i feel like that i i had a break and then we had a lot of breaks and then the breaks started growing out and now we don't have any breaks anymore i don't think a little bit of gel left on this finger but I think like I'm pretty sure it's grown out I can't see it so I'm pretty sure <laughs> um, so it's nice to have like some years the 12 days of Christmas has been like the last hurrah for my nails right like, okay, we're going to keep them long for the 12 days of Christmas. And after that shit, we're cutting them off for the New Year's. Like so many times I've started a year with New Year's nubbins. And, I, oh, oh, holy shit. It's a raid. Toby, how are you? Welcome, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for the shout out, Gidge. We are, uh, well, we're currently, like, yelling at my cat because he's, whoa, that's loud. Oh, my God. <laughs> With a resub. Thank you so much, Toby. How have you been doing? I know you've been busy with the new house and all the new things. I was lurking the other night, and you're working on that fucking adorable-ass gingerbread man. Because, uh, I play this game called Unrailed, and I play a gingerbread man in there, so I was, I was liking that. I, I always switch to my go run run fast as you can <laughs> and I know there's like what is it like Shrek or something I'm sorry I've never seen Shrek um notifications where are you slothy wolf thank you for the follow Adam bomb glass thank you for the follow um shy everybody welcome on in I am the liquor and pour and I'm, I'm having a little bit of a time I'm not feeling the great and Audrey Hepburn it's an honor I'm having a bit of a time, but we're going to be working on, I'll show you my little, my little jank notes. 
I have a series it's called 12 Days of Christmas Nail Art, and we're going to be working on these two, except I don't know what we're actually doing over the black yet. But we're going to be doing some very, very sparkly stripes with like some hollow taco nail polishes. If y'all know, y'all know. Um, Audrey Hepburn, thank you for the follow. So yeah, um, <laughs> Richard McNixon. Um, I just took off the previous manicure I had on, so we're doing a little bit of, a little bit of cuticle things and stuff like that. And yeah, we were also reviewing my, my calendar that I made where I put November 23rd after November 24th, but we won't talk about that for too long. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of trying to simplify the series this year because it's, like, I don't want to stop doing it, but it's very tough to do that much editing in that short of a time because I hate editing. But we'll be doing nail art here on Twitch like every three days, and then I'll be editing them and uploading them 12 days in a row over on the YouTubes. Battery <laughs> laugh. I mean, look, okay. I mean, some, but Sun backed me up and said that it wasn't even supposed to be a date, though. It was a 23 for some other reason. But man, I should have, like, picked a different corner. Not the same corner where the date numbers were going. Or a different format, like, put a triangle around it or something. I fucking don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, we do not usually quite this much nail art. The manicure that I took off, I actually had off for 10 days, because... I haven't had the energy to do nails, but we do lots of nail art, and then we do Hollow Knight, and then we do other stuff. Sometimes nails and Hollow Knight are the constant. I wanna, I kind of want to do some Stardew again sometime, but I don't know when I'm gonna fit that in. I realized that it had been a really long time since I, like, since I streamed any like summertime, and. Like, those were some very, very cozy, comfy, chill streams. And then, too, like, I was thinking about it, because we're getting, like, to the end of the year or whatever. And it's, like, it's, con you know, it's kind of trite and whatever. You know, you start thinking about, what have I done with my year and New Year's resolutions and that type of bullshit. But also, like, it's a it's a time to reflect or whatever. It is a new year. You can, there it, there's nothing wrong and you shouldn't wait until the new year to change shit. But there's also nothing wrong with changing shit because it's a new year oh hey and here's Bainey who's apparently decided he's had enough of causing trouble hello buddy hello buddy you good boy I'm sorry you probably wanted a treat because people have been giving you treats but I don't have another one for you I'm pretty sure they might be sold out at this point <laughs> yeah um, so I was thinking about like, I don't know if I want to list them under accomplishments, but like what games have I technically beaten this year? Like not that, like some people go through games really, really quick and I tend to like find games that I, that either are long and difficult or that I like to play over and over or both. Um... And I, I like, I've kind of completed several games, but I haven't really finished any of them, right? Like, technically we beat Celeste, but we didn't finish Celeste. Oh, fucking, hold on. Nope, nope. Don't mind the ringing phone that I can't make stop ringing. Because it's a dumb phone and it doesn't have a mute button. Um... Like, we beat Celeste, but we didn't finish Celeste. We didn't go back and do the B-sides and the C-sides and all that shit. Or, like, Meat Boy. Like, we beat Meat Boy, but we didn't go back and do Cotton Alley. And we didn't go back and do the Dark World. And, like, Cuphead, I didn't even finish yet. Like, we made some decent progress on Cuphead, but... I don't know. So I started to think about, like, do I want to try and accomplish any of that by the end of the year? Like... I don't know. Like, I know you guys are always happy to hang out and watch Hollow Knight or Trains or whatever, but... 
sometimes I'm like, I should expand my horizons. Cuphead is intense. Like, oh my god, I had such a time with so many of those bosses. And like, I know the vodka probably didn't help, but like, you guys, if I'm going to put myself into that kind of a situation and take that much punishment, like, I'm gonna need a little vodka. <laughs> Right, that's about as much Valley Girl as I can do right now. <laughs> I don't like every word is true, though. I think the last one we did was the dragon. Grim Matchstick. He was a dick. That was some hours. That was like hours and hours and man. <sighs> why, why, like, why, why do I get myself into those situations? <laughs> like, this is going to take forever. <laughs> No, Sparkle. I did the whole entire first island rather tipsy. I don't get drunk on stream, of course. No, no. That would be Monka Toss. But I was pretty tipsy. <laughs> and like, I mean, I know Island 1 is easier than Island 2, but like, I did pretty good. I mean, I died a lot, but I did, I did better than I anticipated doing. I anticipated just like getting stuck and getting frustrated with being stuck. Um, and I did get stuck, but I didn't get too frustrated most of the time. Like, uh, it, it, I mean, kind, kind of a weird comparison but kind of like the impossible birthplace like if you're in the right mindset then it's okay to just bash your head against something for a while but i don't know i can't always tell if i'm in that mindset or not and i'd rather err on the side of caution than like actually making myself super mad and salty on stream like i'm not a good gamer so i'm gonna it's gonna take a while like it's hard it's super hard so I have to be able to, like, not be salty about it. Mm. Steamboat Willie is kind of creepy, more than, like, regular Mickey. All right, cuticles are okay. Let's do, uh, like, a real quick little file. Yeah, it, I mean, part of it is, like, the way they move right and part of it is just that like i mean in cuphead it is supposed to be like a little creepy like they're they're boss battles all right make sure we have just like a little bit of taper like i don't like it when my nails start to look a little wide as they grow out I used to just deal with it because I used to think that it was not good to file the sidewalls. But I've since learned that if your nails are healthy and as long as you don't like... Like, you don't want to saw into the part that's, like, still attached. But, like, this part up here, like, you can shape a little bit without it being detrimental. <clears throat> All right, music gal, have a safe trip. Whew! Last minute last minute thanksgiving grocery store run man i hope i hope it's uh not too chaotic yeah i'm i may stream tomorrow thanksgiving is gonna be pretty low-key so I, I don't know whatever i don't know like i know a lot of people are trying to keep it low-key i know a lot of people are like you know what fuck it it's thanksgiving which is like hopefully that's not a horrible thing but probably it'll be a little bit horrible for some people i don't know we'll see we'll see when tomorrow gets here how i feel after the turkey if i'm just uh ready for a nap i mean i'm gonna have to try and get to bed at a slightly less absurd hour tonight slash you know tomorrow morning if I can actually I want to take off quite a bit of length on this thumb because this has been having problems on the controller a little bit 
<laughs> you had to give up on the square squabble did you keep break breaking your corners spacey i st i mean honestly i still have that trouble sometimes especially on my right hand well and especially on my right thumb like you see the right thumb is not a squoval i i've actually like broken my my thumbnail because i press buttons on my controller too hard like th these are like gamer length nails now for some reason like the i mean i guess it's the difference between like the d-pad and the face buttons but like i don't have as much trouble on the left hand um but i still try to keep it pretty short because like you can see is my controller around here i always talk about this like during gaming streams and i forget to like show you guys when i've got the hand cam like that's that's from my nail like on on this side too like my nails are very rough on my controller just like nah, 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 you know <laughs> so mm. oh with the way your nail beds bend yeah i have that problem on a couple nails where they like bend a little awkward in fact this one is looking a little crooked because of the way that it's file that a little bit more um yeah sometimes it, it can get very frustrating but i found it's not necessarily for me easier with other shapes like i have the same problem when they're round i almost always have had my nails squoval but i did have one entire whole ass year where i wore them round you already ate a slice of pie. Mm. Yeah. Like some people, like I, like I get it, dude. It sucks. It's been a long ass year and it sucks and fucking can't we just have Thanksgiving, but like. Monk S. <laughs> mm. I have claws. Mm. yeah exactly like i'm not like i'm not like you know e even though i've been basically hiding in my house it's not like you know everybody goes to hide in their house but like she's a little fucking common sense people please you know as far as like you know going going through airports or some shit to go gather with some other people that have gone through airports and some shit like that doesn't sound like a super great plan to me you know, my Thanksgiving is going to be four people. And then, I mean, it's kind of, I mean, it's tough. Especially because last Thanksgiving sucked. Like, started looking forward last year to having a normal Thanksgiving this year. And then, <laughs> guess what? This year, it's even more fucked. <sighs> but, you know, like, hopefully it won't be fucked forever. If people can work together to unfuckify it. <laughs> yeah. I mean. I can count the number of public buildings I've been in since March on one hand. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm an at-risk group. The people in my household are at risk. And actually, I don't like going out anyway. But I still miss it. That's like, that's when you know, like it's been going on for a long time when introverts and people that are perfectly happy to stay at home are like, you know, I fucking miss going out. Not like to bars or parties or anything. I miss fucking going to Whole Foods and browsing cheese. I miss like, you know. Uh oh. Yeah, Vardvark, like, I mean, sometimes. I mean, I try to keep it positive. You guys know. Well, if anybody doesn't know, the MSLP is for my simple little pleasures, which is my nail art name. But I chose that like fucking God damn it. Oh, my God. 12 years ago. Oh, my God. For my blog, because I wanted the freedom like every now and then to do other things than nails. But because sometimes all you have is like the little pleasures. And that's important. Like when shit sucks, 
damn it, there's still things that don't suck. Very rarely does absolutely everything suck. You know what I mean? <sighs> yeah, Lorca. Yeah. Yeah, the library, dude. Libraries are back open, but I'm not going to the library. <clears throat> yeah. And shoes you don't buy. Yes, because, dude, Sparkle, no, you don't understand. The DSW is down the street from the Whole Foods. <laughs> oh, my God. Go buy me some fucking expensive-ass cheese at Whole Foods. Drive around the corner and buy me some gourmet goddamn cupcakes at Nadia Cakes or some fucking cookie dough bars and then go across the parking lot and look at some six inch heeled boots at DSW that I don't need to buy because I don't work in the office anymore and I don't have any reason to dress cute because y'all don't care. You can't even see. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> Be done. Hello. Dude, do there are I, I guarantee there's at least one person probably doing their nails during stream right now. And even if nobody says it, that's okay, because obviously, you know, their nails are wet, so they just can't type. So just assume that there's always a lurker doing their nails in my stream. Whether we're doing games or nails. That's my assumption. And I'm sticking to it. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> Ray Ray. I'm just I'm going Ray. off on a little rat <laughs> Sophia is thank you thank you for backing me up <laughs> Sophia and uh, Rogel thank you for the follow I hope I said that okay and Jen Jenky thank you also doing your nails welcome Picking painted dinosaur. This is like calling you by your first middle name if you're not following. The fuck? Stop. Stop. <laughs> you, you, you like this? <laughs> you're in for you. Thank you for the prime sub. Oh my god, you guys. Miss Spring Fling, hello. <sighs> di di dino, why? And and why? Okay, you know who I am. Why would you say that as though I'm not going to give you shit for it? It's like if anybody in my real life come around me with some at their hangnails. I mean, we're not really fighting, but like, what the fuck? You can't just do that and think I'm not going to call you out on it. That was a very delayed, complete sentence. But, you know, it's that whole lack of sleep shit. <laughs> Mm. Beanie is a chonk. Oh, Beanie's gone again. He's a stealthy chonk. <laughs> but he's still a chonk. Which, like, is kind of funny. I, when I adopted Beanie eight years ago, seven years ago, 2013, okay, slightly more than seven years ago, one of the reasons that I was initially like attracted to him was that he was a very small boy and my frisky that I had that I had just lost was a very small cat she was never in her life probably more than six or seven pounds she was just very small and when I got Beanie he was seven pounds <laughs> and uh gidge the fuck out of here get this you see that? You see how those little shiny blades that the camera hates to focus on come together like that? Camera, why do you hate shiny things? Like it was literally not having a problem. Camera. Camera. There we go. You want blades like this because they get right next to the skin. Your teeth are not fucking sharp enough to actually get the whole hangnail. You get this, you get it off right next to the skin. It's smooth. There is no more hangnail. That's not a strat. That's not valid. Fucking anybody who does that is a horrible person. Not really, but like, stop. Yeah, so Beanie, I was going to gesture and like poke his little pudge. 
Beanie's like 14 pounds. So he's like twice as big as Frisky. And he's twice as big as when I got him. Um, but yeah, he's a good boy. A slightly frustrating boy from time to time. But I love Bean. He's, uh, he's an extremely smart cat. And he's extremely a cuddly cat. And uh, every now and then he's, you know, filled with badness. But, I mean, he's a cat. Right? <laughs> mm. 35 hours this week. Wait, like, did your week start early? Or you mean, like, since Monday? Because that's a fuck ton of hours, Nani. Okay. Polo right thumb is just... Like, I don't know if I should even bother trying to reshape it, Scoville. Hey, there's the chonk. How you doing, Benny? Oh, since Monday. Cass did not get hangnails, but you can give them a manicure. You want to come over here? Hmm. <laughs> No, but why? Okay, why though, you guys? Like, you're not doing yourself any favors. Like, you're not doing yourself any favors. Hi, Mr. Bean. Mm. All right, Nani. Hello. Yeah, you got a little bit of a dirty face? This eye is a little bit gooby. It really is, though. Like, I know it looks not the greatest on camera, but it is looking quite good. You want, you want to show everybody your eyeball? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hello, you handsome. Oh, yeah, is the mic picking them up? You giving everybody the good purse? Beanie ASMR? Thank you, Be Done. Yeah, I've been a little bit lazy with the hair. I got, like, some little mini twists in under here. I really, like, if I'd been on top of my shit, if I'd been feeling better the past couple days slash weeks, um... I had to put in some braids because that's always kind of nice to do during the series so I don't have to be worrying about my hair. But I didn't, so we just been... And of course, like, I've got, like, all those. It's like it's like one of those shoe things that hang on the door. It's scarves! How often do you guys see me wear something other than the black one? Also, hey, Jaded. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the cat cabin, you know, we're pretty close. Not not quite proportional, but yes, you're extremely handsome. He was a very good boy. Um so once once Beanie's done, I'm gonna take a little short break. I'm gonna take a bathroom break before we start with the painting the actual manicuring um we're gonna need like we're gonna need the base to be dry i probably should get out my super glossy do i still have the super glossy out somewhere hmm. oh fuck is it on the desk Hmm. Cause super glossy is even better than such feet as far as making sure something is uh like dry enough to do vinyls on. I know I just used it. Oh here it is. Mm. 
Yeah, Benny, you're a very good boy. Are you are you done now? He says no. Why would I be done? Never done, never done being handsome. Oh yeah, the neck scratches, I know. <laughs> you can only hear Beanie. Oh man, dude, you're shedding all over me. I love you. You need to be brushed. Yeah, I'm surprised. Apparently, it's been long enough since I took off the old manicure that I don't smell like acetone anymore. We done? Okay. God, I could I could see the fur on my shirt. Oh my god! Fucking a. <laughs> Welcome back, music out. Except I'm about to take a little a little short break. Okay, no, don't mess with that. <laughs> have Beanie pull out a Helmer drill. That's the last thing I need. So, let me find some music for you guys. Um, like I said, I'm gonna just take a couple minutes, run downstairs. You know, somehow, all that glitter that was on my hands is mostly gone. I still catch a couple, but like, where did it go? Out into the world. The glitter just is out there somewhere. Yeah, cat mom things. I'll probably hit myself up with a sticky thingy. I don't want to use my nail art one because I don't want that one to be all furry. Um, but yeah, bathroom break. Maybe super, super quick cuticle scrub. And then we're going to... This, man, I got to... One, two, three. We have... I mean, like that, there's other options also. We'll talk about it when I get back. Have a little unwritten return while I'm gone.
thank you for your patience, everybody. Um, gave Bean a quick scoop of dinner while I was up also. Honestly, like I'm leaning toward this. But I don't know which order I want the colors. <clears throat> oh yeah, hornet in the in the vessel. I won them. They're adorable. <clears throat> so okay peely base sesh Vite, gift receipt purple flaky blue flaky um okay. vinyls um Oh hold on, where did the uh crap? Is it still here? Y'all I need to clean. Well where did I put it? We literally A couple, well, I guess not just like a couple days ago, but Drusilla? Who's Drusilla? It's like the, this is like a nail polish pile. We had the... Uh, the picking tool and shit out. Why didn't it get put back in here? Like this, this is where it belongs. And it didn't end up back in there. Where did I put it? Did I not fucking put it back in there, goddamn itself? Oh, fucking hey, dude. Welcome back, Beanie. Welcome back, Beanie. <clears throat> Buffy? Wait, what are they, is that one of the options I already have and I don't know it? Or is this a different style that I don't know it? Oh, what? This is the rest of the... Nope. I literally, you guys, I'm so disorganized. I have such dreams of organization. <clears throat> uh, poisoned devils, thank you for the follow. I like, I'm just asking myself, like, actually, why would I put it anywhere that wasn't the box that's labeled for it? Good evening. I'm only just having a minor attitude adjustment. <laughs> like, I just, I'm, like, I'm not mad at anybody but myself. There's no, I, oh, wait, here it is. Oh, my goodness, why are you in the desk drawer? Thank you. All I wanted was this and this. Oh, black with red tips. Mm. So, I didn't really do testing for this yesterday. Like, I just did the very... One idea was triangular vinyls at the cuticle and then sponge over it so it faded out. One idea was French tip vinyls and then sponged so it fades down. This idea is like a vinyl and then a solid tip and then a fade under the vinyl. 
in the two colors. I suppose I could also combine those ideas, but I don't think I want to. I'm leaning toward this, but I, do I want purple on the tips and blue? Or do I want blue on the tips and purple? Questions. I have not answered yet. Um, oh, also I should have grabbed. Oh, I've got a box full of everything that we have put aside for holiday stuff so far. Ooh, or Chevron. Do I like that? Do we, do we like the idea of a Chevron French tip with that idea better than the idea of a traditional rounded French tip? Kind of. Hey, Longview. I'll take out both of those. We don't have to worry about it quite yet, but we'll think about it. <clears throat> um, and we won't need to worry about these for a little while. Can set this over here. Oh, my file I should probably put away. Not because glass files are particularly dangerous, but because if you hit a glass file with a metal mug several times, it will break. Speaking from personal experience. Okay. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. But let's go. <clears throat> oh, maybe I'm forgetting to like get some acetone out and prep my nails <laughs> and probably move my tea because I'm going to need this space or if you sit there yeah I mean they're, they're sturdy but they're still glass my little thing is so dirty from all the testing yesterday and metallics and flaky foils settling okay <clears throat> Are Sun Chips healthier than Doritos, or would you just assume that they are because they sound like a healthy snack when really they're just chips? <laughs> All right, gonna get started with a little uh, acetone prep. You know, I didn't actually scrub my cuticles while I was downstairs, but they're fine. We'll try to remember to do that next time, though. A little Zoya sugar scrub like a facial for your nails I don't know if that's true <laughs> uh, acetone will make sure that the nails are fully clean and dry like there's no any kind of residue except for possibly like you know a stray glitter because glitter is forever but like no skin oil or soap residue or anything like that generally speaking Yeah, I feel like I feel like that's been me before Musical. Like in the store. Like, okay, I'll get what whichever one of these is least bad. And then you look and you're like, oh shit. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> I mean, of course, calories are not the only thing, so I don't know. Maybe they're lower in some bad thing. But <laughs> Yeah, they're still chips. There are there are good healthy snacks though. I used to take to work for a while until I just got like like I got sick of the prep. I would take a little container of uh hummus and sliced jicama and broccoli. And, like, I actually like jicama and broccoli, and both actually go so fucking good with hummus. 
but it was a hassle, especially like the jicama, because it wants to be stored like wet. So you either gotta like store it submerged in water or with like a wet paper towel to keep it its appropriate texture, which it's only, well, it's not only good because of the texture, but like the texture is a huge part of the reason why it's good. <sighs> only five, Lorca? <laughs> Can't relate. <laughs> The cheese, I mean, the cheese is OG and best. Like, but the, what is it, French onion? Like, don't sleep. I mean, if you realize that, son, then you should just stop and figure out what you actually want. <clears throat> slippers that are shaped like grids. I've looked on Amazon for slippers before, and I'm, like, so picky like I don't like that like I like a fluffy slipper but I don't like that fluffy slipper that feels artificial like I don't want real fur slippers but I don't want it to feel like the fur is made out of plastic you feel me <laughs> jicama's kind of like it's mostly texture but like it has a little bit of a flavor it 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 tastes mild but like it has a little bit of a flavor kind of like water chestnuts level of flavor not that it tastes like a water chestnut but like you know it's not tasteless but mostly like it's just fucking crunchy but yeah I'll, i'd eat it raw and not just well it's i don't can you cook jicama i mean you could but are you supposed to i meant plain raw in both cases but i meant plain all right. <clears throat> I see you on camera. Little remaining glitter. <clears throat> Starting out with clean dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. Today I'm using Hollow Taco Peely Base, and you can use whichever is your personal favorite. So, what time is it? It's 10. I did not think it would take this long to get to the actual manicure. Stop me if you've heard this before. But I think it should be. Like, if I can just make up my mind of what I'm doing with the night side, I don't think it's going to be that bad. I'm still, like, on the decision, though, of accent nails or not raw potato no I mean texture wise but not taste wise I don't think <laughs> hey renegade I feel like water chestnuts are underutilized. <clears throat> Wait, jicama and kimchi or water chestnuts and kimchi, Sophia? Yeah, the voice is quite a bit better. I would say my voice is 90 to 95%. I mean, I still have a little like dryness feeling or hoarseness. Every now and then it'll crack a little bit, but I mean, I have a voice. Whereas I did not have a voice for, fuck, like two weeks. I lost it for a pretty long time. Partly, I mean, I was dumb when I started having problems. I, I cannot deny that. Yeah, I'm really going to have to be mindful when I'm working on my right hand on camera. <gasps> I should have re-recorded this for this hand. Because this hand is going to be a whole separate fucking tutorial. I'm dumb. Well, it's just going to, we're going to just have to use that same clip. <laughs> be like, wait a minute, that's not the right hand. Well, yeah, I forgot. 
fucking a i forgot you know what i can do no it's fine we'll we'll no no i can't do that i mean i could <laughs> i'll just wait i'll just wait until day three and four and then i'll record it again and then i'll just use that one of this hand twice is that allowed nobody will know i mean you guys will know <laughs> rad oh my god i hate radishes yeah they don't taste like much but they don't taste like nothing i don't think i would enjoy raw potato i've had like i've you know tried it but like yeah the magic of editing <laughs> okay how do, how do i want to do this i think what we want to do like i once i get to the colors i think i will have less trouble telling the hands apart and remembering to record like just the base coat was just like the same for both I, mean, I don't need my potatoes mashed. I mean, like, you could do some pretty good, like, you know, you just like... That's not descriptive. But, like, Jojo, Jojo fry style slice and, like, toss them in the oven and let them, let them get, like, a little bit crispy on one side. Mmm. Fuck. I mean, I'll have some potatoes tomorrow, but I don't have any potatoes right now. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Zuli. Because a crisp apple is the only apple I'm interested in eating. If I buy the apple and it doesn't, like, snap, I'm kind of not interested in it anymore. <laughs> Panicula. <laughs> All right. Okay. <clears throat> camera mm, there we go <clears throat> for my base color today I'm going to be using hollow taco gift receipt I'll be adding a quick dry top coat for that to dry completely and then add nail vinyls then I'll be sponging with the purple flaky hollow and the blue flaky hollow taco i'll leave it i don't honey crisps are okay sweet tango are the best and i have been unable to get any this year there's that new one that's supposed to be really good too i can never remember what it's called a sweet tango. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, look how shiny that shit is. I mean, I know, I think the webcam just unfocused because it's so shiny, so I'll have to resolve that in a minute, but y'all can still see how fucking shiny that is. Oh god, and you can see my hands shaking too. Please stop, hands. Um, Sweet tango is a hybrid between a honey crisp and I forget what else. But it's got all the crisp of a of a honey crisp, but it's even sweeter. Like some honey crisps, like honey crisps can be sweet. I mean they're honey crisp, but like some some have almost a little bit of sourness to them. Whereas like sweet tangos, I mean they have a little bit of a like a tang to them also, but it's like underneath the sweetness, if that makes sense. That's so shiny. Hey entropy. gotta make sure when you get sweet tangos though that they were grown in an appropriately cold climate if they're grown in warmer places like they actually aren't as crispy um there we go y'all that's so fucking shiny dude love the shiny things 
Sour apples grid. No, Jade. What? No. Mm. I can't like when it hits you there. Like no. Mm. Thank you, poison. Yeah, this is like th this is like the brightest, obviously, because it's silver. But like the whole collection is reflective like this, and I just I dig it. All right, give it a nice second coat. I'm managing to keep it pretty clean, so we should be able to just do like a very brief cleanup and then top coat it. And a lot of like actual, like this is like a flaky foil formula. Like other kinds of foils, like a lot of times you have a problem with brush strokes. But because of the flakies, I mean, I think it's because of the flakies, like brush strokes aren't really a thing with this. So you can, you can like doctor it a little bit. As far as like if you see like in person it's like on camera you guys probably can't really tell but like you can see there's a cut like right there you see at the edge like it's not quite opaque there so if you need to go a little bit thicker there on your second coat you can do that without having to be having like the most flawlessest ever of brush strokes It's very forgiving. <clears throat> Red Delicious is the garbage apple. I mean, I'm not going to say any apple is a garbage apple. Because any apple can be redeemed with apple crisp. Like literally any apple. Bake that shit and put some fucking brown sugar and oats on top. I dare you to tell me it's not delicious. I dare you. Heck yeah, Wim. Dude, a pasta salad? Oh my God. No, we've reached the food talk and I'm so hungry. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Wait, you, you, you don't like apple crisp? <laughs> what? What? Why? How? No. What? No. I'm so sorry <laughs> for you. <laughs> Wait, do you just think you don't like it? Or like, have you actually had it and said like, yeah, no, I'll pass. No, we do have like that same glitter problem we had when we took off the copper as far as with the cleanup here. So we just got to be mindful of that. Oh my God. Not like apple crisp. Can't what? <laughs> what? No, no. Oh my God. No, no. Oh my God. Apples in a crisp form. Like, number one, apple crisp is 90% of apple crisps are superior to 90% of apple pies. I'll go out on a limb and say that right here. Because fuck pie crust, honestly, unless it's like really good pie crust. There's so much shitty pie crust in this world. Like, people don't understand how to make pastry which is unfortunate because it's easy. Um, man, don't, don't like fucking apple dessert products. What? <laughs> mm, no. Twelve hours? Oh no. I usually can at least get to day three before I pop a peely. Um I definitely always like prep with acetone, like you saw. 
and wrap the hell out of not just the tips but like the sides with the top coat man some people though like i think their nails just like refuse i remember uh kelly marissa did like a comparison and it like she like ha, like she was comparing i think unt and hollow taco and she started the experiment in the evening and like before the next morning she had lost like all her peelies like both brands mm. yeah no we're al almost we're not quite there yet because i want to top coat this so it's drying is this still yeah my hollow taco that's actually kind of a good angle it's slightly cloudy my super glossy i don't know why it's fine i mean it's not like you're gonna notice that on the nail but it is kind of a little bit weird i did thin it out a little bit but it was like that before i thinned it um I save my super glossy right now, particularly for when I'm doing vinyls, because it really does dry very hard, very fast. Um, I'm not a fan of the regular glossy taco. It's honestly like the only thing of Christine's I'm not like a fangirl about, because it's just failed me several times. Um, so I'm still a sesh fan fangirl for top coat because like super glossy is the best and then sesh Vite is second and then regular glossy is like third ish distant third ish um although i know a lot of people like it and if it works for you like that's great because i know a lot of people don't like sesh Vite because it doesn't work for them because body chemistry is mysterious um but yeah, if Christine ever offers refills of Super Glossy at like a good price point, I would probably switch completely. But I do my nails too often to pay full price top coat when Sesh Vite refills exist for like 14 bucks, which is the equivalent of like nine bottles. It's actually like so absurd. If you use Sesh V, like even if you don't use it as much as I do, please get the refill. It's so worth it. It's so cheap. <laughs> hey, caters. All right. So it is 10 16. At least 10 25, if not 10 30, before we put vinyls on these. And even that's pushing it a little bit but I'm, I'm not super super worried about it we need to decide if we're doing accent nails or not like now now <laughs> mm. Yeah, I, I, whoa, 99.9. I think mine, I have a 91, I have a, I have a 70 somewhere and I have 99. It only says 99 though, not 99.9. .9. What did we buy that for you guys? Do you remember? Something where we decided that the 91% was not enough. Cleaning nail foils? Question mark. I think that's what it was. Um, a lot of people do use uh, alcohol to clean their nails if that's what the conversation was about. Yeah. So, like, the idea with the accent nails was it would make things a lot easier on me. I don't know. Like, do we want just one nail? I mean, I suppose I could do ring and thumb. We could do two nails. I feel like on the on the designs that just have a plain back back plain black background, then though that that's much more 
boring than like this. Like this, 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 I could roll with this for weeks. Honestly, clean ass, bright silver manicure. Love it. Plain black, honestly, I mean, I could rock for quite a long time too, but I'd get bored of it. It's like picturing an accent nail on this compared to, you know, one just with a plain black base. Uh, we'll see. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah. Intro, intro. <clears throat> one coat black, purple, and blue. All right. Oh, we gotta go this this direction. Oh, fuck. Doing everything backwards. Fucking there's glitter there. Get off. <clears throat> For my base color, I'll be using Hollow Taco One Coat Black. Then I'll be sponging with the Blue Flaky and the Purple Flaky. And I know I didn't like mention vinyls. It's because I still don't know which vinyls we're using. But I mean, there will be vinyls used. Fuck. My hands are so unsteady. If you do have unsteady hands, just like go slow. Like the the steady you can well number one steady your hand on the table steady your other hand on the table and steady your hand i know it's gonna sound weird but steady your hand with the brush on the other nail like if you like go slow like you can stroke a straight stroke even if your hands are trembly Ooh, that was almost bad. I know I'm like very quiet. I'm just, I'm trying so hard. Fuck chubby sidewalls. Okay. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, top coat well that's fine people will have heard all about that from day one <laughs> we'll just hope oh my god also if you're like fuck that black is phenomenal yeah it is It does everything you want it to do. Opaque in one coat. Stamps. Water marbles. Easy cleanup. <laughs> Basomic dent balsamic dinner balsamic vinegar is pretty tasty all right oh mm. it's kind of it's kind of weird because i feel like sometimes things from like drawing carry through to nail art but I feel like this is something that kind of doesn't I feel like in drawing if you have a shaky hand it's easier to like draw a straight line if you go like a little bit faster but I feel like when you're doing your nails it's easier to go straight if you go like slower Oh, little short white thumb. You so dirty. It's worth it though. Still gotta wrap the tip, even if it's a nubbin tip. But that's a little. Whoa! Come on here, hands. Uh. 
That's better. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> I mean, not for everything entropy, but most most things. Yeah. Um one thing I actually kind of don't like it for is like gradients. I feel like gradients work better if you have some colors that have a little bit less opacity because they can blend together a little bit more. Um, and I wouldn't assume that it would water marble with everything just because it does water marble doesn't mean it works with everything. Six or seven, holy crap. Well, Entropy, if you are sure you're going to do it, I'm not sure it's still going on, but you may want to do it now. If you buy um, any set, you get a free bottle of one called Black right now. Um, so there's that. I don't know if they're doing something else for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, or if they're just going to keep that going. Okay, let's uh, do top coat on this hand also. changing Friday so you maybe have a day to decide entropy of course who knows maybe the Friday deal will be better now this is almost like do I really need this but it will be peace of mind um because the one coat black is just one coat I maybe should have waited a little bit longer for that to dry because I got some on the brush hold on there we go. I mean, I'm very mindful of not putting the brush back in here dirty. I don't, I don't think it's my fault. It's cloudy, but it might be. You know what? I'm, uh, I'm preparing these as if I'm doing all the nails. Not just a accent nail. Because otherwise I wouldn't need to make sure these were dry for nail vinyls if they're not getting nail vinyls on them. Now would I? Hmm. Mm -mm. Didn't notice it doing that on the silver. Maybe the silver was a little bit drier before I top coated. Or maybe the black is just that pigmented that it likes to do that. <clears throat> All right, pull a little right thumb. Oh. Thought. Possibly too co overly complicated of a thought. In that I could do all the nails and do an accent nail, by which I mean I could do all the nails and then have the accent nail be something slightly different. I don't know. That's possibly... Which blue are you talking about royalty blue entropy? Are you looking on the website? It's a very deep, bright blue. Cobalt. One might even go so far as to say. Um It's beautiful. Like, it, I wouldn't describe it as a bright blue, but it's intense. Does that make sense? Also, you might like, this is uh, Indigo Away. It's like a, like a blackened indigo, basically. Can look almost black on the nail, but does have a little bit of a 
purple blue situation going on. Yeah, saturated. Okay. We, uh, I'm just having a thought. You guys could probably tell when I have a thought before I say I have a thought, because I'm sure I get like a look on my face. When we were testing yesterday, we were talking about, you know, if this was a good representation of nail size, which it is, and if this is a good representation of width on the vinyls, which I think it mostly is, that we'll be getting seven per nail, which equates to either four of the base and three of the flaky or three of the base and four of the flaky, which each color the flake and getting two, which we decided was better. Do I... I'm sorry, I'm I'm thinking in my head now. Really, I should only need then three vinyls per nail. If I pick them up in strips of five, is this is this flat or is this pointed? I mean, does this pick up flatly or pointedly? That doesn't make sense. It's pointed. I need a tweezer where that whole edge comes together. You know what I mean? That would be really handy right now. Lurk and make some coffee. All right, entropy. Computer had a brain fart. Ew. Like so, when you when when you're doing like stripes. Now they do sell vinyls, which is like a, what I want to call like a cage of stripes where you pick the whole thing off and you, you've got like multiple ones. These are just individual straight vinyls. You can pick them up in a group and then remove every other one to keep your width even or I could just place them manually. which might be able to keep like a little bit more consistency between the nails. Like the pinky otherwise might not have the same balance of color as the others. I think that's what we'll do. We'll just place three. We'll place one, of course two also I should say. No, I wanna go at an angle, I wanna go I want to go at this angle. So when they're next to each other, then they're like next to each other. I think I want to. Oh, man. Where? Do we have a cut there? We do have a cut there. Why do we have a cut there? I'm going to go on this end. That's also a cut. I just want to like raise up a few of these. Oh, this is going to be dicks, dude. Maybe I should. Like that. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just, I'm trying to make these grabbable, you know, like get a little edge going. So how many am I going to need? 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I can then half of this one also. Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> Why am I fucking around with vinyls again? <laughs> right, dated. I'm. Oh, I hate them. I hate vinyls. I hate them. It's fine. We're we're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna go for it. <clears throat> Once the base is fully dry, I'm going to add some vinyls. I have some wide straight vinyls here and I'm going to be applying three to each nail. I think. Is that too wide? I'm just going to make one on each nail to start. And then make sure they're all at an appropriate angle and then add the others, I think. Oh, come on. Fucking vinyls, dude. I don't know if they're, man, they're fucking not long enough, dude. I don't, I thought they'd be wide enough at an angle. I guess they could be. I, okay, I just need to keep rolling with it. I need to line them up better. Hmm. I don't know. Should I? I need... I... Fuck. I think I need to switch sizes. Like, I've got, like... Before you ask, no. I couldn't find the half of the sheet that's not fucking cut in half. Although I also didn't look. <laughs> so, there's that. We're not doing that, though. That's a recipe for disaster. Um, hold on. I have two places I want to look, and if I don't find it there, we're just gonna go and move onward. So this is one box that's labeled stickers and I don't see it in here and also my other set of nail vinyls are not in here so I don't think they were in here. The other one is over here and I do have my other straights in here or my other vinyls in here but I still don't see the straights also this is where it was that's just so irritating like I have no idea how long it's been missing do I have any straights in here? Oh, like bundle monster vinyls, which I do not like. And in fact, there aren't even any straights in here other than I mean those. Okay. So, Wide chevrons, regular chevrons, round French tips, which is what I think we're using on the black. 
Or should I do, I mean, I could do both of these as we should have, this, this should already been decided just to be clear. We could do both of these as French tips and do one as round and one as chevron. No, I really want, I, w I want this to be stripes. So. These are skinny, skinny straights. Don't I have regular straights? They're pink. Where are my regular pink straight vinyls? Hold on, I'm looking through. They're not in here. <sighs> so what that tells me is that the pink straight vinyls are with the green ones. The green straight vinyls. The other half of the package. where like there's that box but that box doesn't have anything like that inside of it there's this box but I didn't think this box had that inside of it hold on mm -hmm. no that box does not have that inside of it there's this box which I did not think had that inside of it And I'm correct, it doesn't. And there's this box, which maybe has it, but I don't think. Oh, wait. No! That's not what I want. Wait, what's this? No. Ooh, look at these. This is pretty. So, good news is I found vinyls. Bad news is they're fucking not the vinyls I was looking for. Why am I so disorganized, you guys? Where would I have put standard width pink straight vinyls? last February. Am I correct in this? Is last February when I did the green reciprocal gradient? I don't think that's accurate. Hold on. We have to go on a slight search mission. Um, Just for a minute. Reciprocal. Oh no. Oh, they're not. Okay, I'm wrong. They don't exist. Never mind. Never mind. In fact, never mind. <laughs> Would you guys like to know what my brain did to me? My brain remembered doing the pink reciprocal, which in fact used these turquoise narrow vinyls, which gosh, they're really skinny. Like, this is like a, th a three to one ratio. Why did I not get medium sized straight vinyls, you guys? So, okay, okay, idea three, maybe idea four. Also, wait, let's, let's, let's see this number one at this width. How many of these can I do on, on a bias on my nail? Like, okay, these need to get off of here. Please don't get stuck there. Like, 
can I actually do what I want to do here if I pick up like five of these at once? One, two, three, four, five. Will that fit at an angle and leave some leftovers? So if these were long enough, this would be the appropriate width. We got corners peeking out. Then we would have, okay. So, we don't want this, we don't want this, we don't want this. Are these, the same? these are the same width, okay? Okay. And we are going to need 15. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I don't know if I'm counting correctly. I'm gonna get the edge of these up. We're gonna we're gonna cut some more vinyls and we're probably gonna regret it down the road, just like we regret cutting those green vinyls. Hey fleaked up geek. Um, these are, most of mine are from What's Up Nails. Theirs are pretty decent. Like, they're not all equal quality. Some don't have enough sticky. Some have too much sticky. Some are too thick. I imagine some are too thin. Um, but yeah, they're kind of a pain in the butt, but they're also great. That summarizes how I feel about vinyls. Okay, I'm just going right up. Right up the chevron, right? So now we have these, which actually, okay, actually though I'm smart, right? Right? Cause now we'll be able to just like put it on there. Wait, I should be using the other side. That would work better. We'll be able to just, oh, you guys. Okay, yeah, this is all intentional. <laughs> we'll be able to use the edge okay wait I want it I want it going toward the outside so we want to use yeah okay okay ooh fucking K I had I got some striping tape in one of my sets of brushes and one of these days I want to do like an actual tape manicure striping tape manicure like stripes the different colored tape oh Yeah, I mean, lots of companies sell them. Bundle Monster. Well, they're not Bundle Monster anymore. What are they? Man Maniology. Actually, I don't know if they still sell them, but that's who my other sells from. But I didn't like those. The What's Up ones I'm pretty happy with. Yeah, some are metallic, some are hollow. Some are intended to be worn, like, as part of the manicure, and some are just intended to be used more for uh, masking. <laughs> all right let's try that all over again <clears throat> now everything's super dry because instead of starting at 10 30 which is right on schedule we're now starting at 10 47 <clears throat> once the base is fully dry i'm gonna go ahead and apply vinyls and i'm going to be applying three for nail Three per blah, blah, blah. okay tongue please okay try that again <clears throat> once the base is completely dry I'm going to be adding nail vinyls I've taken these chevrons and cut them in half and I'm going to be using three vinyls per nail once I finish that I'll move on to the sponging so like that this is actually going to be so much better i'm still not happy that i couldn't find the other ones but oh come on come on Mm 
No, that's too far out. What we want the first one to do is basically serve as our center point so that we're evenly dividing the nail for the other vinyls that are yet to come. So I feel like that could go down a little bit. You can replace them. I mean, not infinitely replace. Um, like, honestly, that part can get very like, oh, my gosh, not quite right. Like you can make yourself mad at yourself. Yeah, this will be better. It's a better angle. It's easier to get it right down on the side because it's at an angle. And uh, I promise I'll catch up with chat soon. So I feel like that's okay. That's as okay as I'm willing to worry about it. If you know what I mean. All right, then we'll put one here. And here pinky is gonna be slightly sketch pinky might not have anything on the corners because pinky is small All right. Same thing on the rest of these, except we want to make sure to kind of leave a little spot at the corner. Straights like this are actually, I mean, like they're tricky in their own way, but they're easier kind of than full nail vinyls. Because, uh, like full nail vinyls never want to lay straight because they're, like your nails are curved and the vinyls are, you know, not curved. Hmm. The middle finger is like surprisingly the like was almost harder to fit on than the thumb evenly get down on there stick and then once we're fully fully done We'll adjust them any last time if we need to. Ugh. Now, a lot of times, like, I'll vote to freehand something over vinyls because are such a pain in the butt. Oh my god, get off the goddamn tweezer, please. But vinyls are obviously way more precise than freehanding. So if you want straight lines, I mean, unless you're like actually artistic, 
like more artistic than me. The vinyls will help you. Oops, come on. Oh. Now, see, sometimes like it looks like it's even, and then in the corner it gets like a little weird. Again, that's like the curvature of the nail. You can, you can mess with it a little bit. Like, I wouldn't say vinyls are stretchy. But you can adjust how they're laying a little bit. Um, same thing kind of here. Like, I feel like it's getting slightly narrow at this end. Can I just, like, like that? See, and like here. Just gets narrow at the very tip. Just kind of pull and adjust it. And then press everything flat. Okay. Luke! Hi Luke. I don't know. I don't know how long uh, I've been not saying hi to you. I was trying to make sure that my vinyls were on straight, which I think they're like decent. Yeah. I, th I think that's fine. We can roll with that, right? <laughs> oh. That's, yeah. Usually, I mean, I allow links. Hey, Grand Eggplant, we are, we're not quite done yet. So, I think I want all nails in the same order. That usually is how I lean. Do I want the upper corner to be pink or blue? Or purple? Technically. Purple, blue, purple, blue, or blue, purple, blue, purple? I'm visualizing. I'm seeing that this is still kind of crooked, too. Blue at the tip. I'm gonna, let's do that on camera. We'll make that a little bit skinnier or a little bit little bit thicker. Not much though. Actually, maybe I should just maybe I'll stick with it as it is. Um oh, look at this. Get get this like that. Mm. Cheese and crackers, yum. Yum as long as it's not Swiss. There, it will be equal amounts of purple. Plus, the purple is borderline purple. We're gonna do blue first. All right. <clears throat> Once, okay, wait, no. Put your put your hand where people can see it, clip. <clears throat> Once the vinyls are applied, you can make sure that they're all evenly placed and well pressed down, and then I'm gonna move on to the sponging. I'm just gonna be using the very thin end of the sponge, and I'm gonna be going in with the blue first, alternating the stripes. So, um, This is going to take a while, by the way. 
if you didn't know. Like, it's a sparse... It's a sparse flaky, so we gotta build it up. So we'll do there. We'll do... There. And we'll do it all over again. A lot. So the sponge is like helping to soak up, you know, that clear base so that we can take advantage of just the flakies. I'm going to just kind of concentrate on these two nails for right now. <clears throat> Not too much though, too, because like they need to dry a little bit in between the uh, in between the layers of sponging. So, oh, that's like a horrible place for the bottle. All right, so we're doing the top corner, and then we're doing the well the lower. I guess is all your perception. I tend to like call the top of the nail like the edge of the nail, and the cuticle like the bottom of the nail. So. This is the bottom larger stripe. And then we'll be doing purple in the other two. And then we'll be doing something similar on the other hand, but we just don't know exactly what yet. Gotta like come to a decision soon. <laughs> Cause we're almost there. I think, I think it'll be okay though. Like, I, I think I know what I want to do. I just don't know the color order. I want to do the, the one that like is, is both colors on a nail. We'll start on the thumb here too. Like you got to pay attention like as you're running out of flakies on the brush if, or not on the brush, on the sponge. If there's no flakies on the sponge, then... There will be no flakies on your nail. And being very mindful, like not to, I mean, not like it's a huge deal if a couple little blue flakes get over into the purple section, but trying to avoid that. <laughs> Ranch Doritos, dude. Yum. I've got sun chips downstairs. I could do that, but like I actually, after stream, I want to try and have... Uh, dinner. Mm. I think treating yourself is almost always okay. I mean, obviously, you can't treat yourself every day. But if you did, then that wouldn't be a treat, would it? So if you feel like you need a treat, go ahead and treat yourself. Uh So, we're just, we're just filling this in as best we can. I might switch to this other, excuse me, side of the, side of the sponge for a little while. Some of it too is like, as you dab it on, you can see clear and then you kind of dab the clear back up with the sponge. Oh man. Oh. Hey, Lizzie. <laughs> no, I mean, manicures can be beautiful at all the different stages of manicures. I mean, some manicures look a little bit weirder in, in the middle bits than others, but. Whoa, don't, don't come off here. Little, little vinyls, please hang in there. All right. make sure that we're getting good coverage here the blue is slightly difficult to differentiate from the silver like slightly like it's not impossible certainly but like it's a little bit tricky all right i definitely want a little bit more layers on some of these Mm. 
<laughs> well, you, I mean, we're going to do this one and then we've got a whole other hand to do. I believe in you, Sophia. You can do it. All right. Um, yeah, I really want it opaque. Because like we saw in the, in the little swatches I had in my notebook, it's like the opacity that really like brings it together. Actually, hmm. It only I'm dumb, you guys. I should have been working on one nail at a time. I'm going to be peeling these when they're not wet anymore or not as wet. Vinyl should always be removed when the polish is wet. I'm some kind of fucking noob some kind of fucking noob also like this is gonna be it's so soaked get out of here well we'll just we'll just cross our fingers and hope oh that's too much get back on there <laughs> Oof, my sleeves are in my way now, too. All right. Still with a light touch, still just being careful and mindful. I mean, like, we have a little bit of leeway because we have not just the channel where we're sponging. We have the, the vinyls there to protect us. I mean, that's the whole point of the vinyls, right? Okay, I'm going to add some more here. Some of these I think are almost done. And then I know I'm like neglecting the absolute fuck out of chat right now. I do apologize. the number of like layers to get this to like a good opacity is slightly more than I anticipated slash remembered. Okay. I want to start on the purple. So, and then maybe I can do like a final layer of blue that will like make it wet enough to peel nicely. Now this will be a little bit easier to see, I think against the silver. Yeah, definitely. doesn't have as much of an edge maybe I should have trimmed this one a little bit oh well um also the small corner near the cuticle might end up getting messy and perhaps I should have considered some latex but it's too late for that we're just gonna roll with it we're just gonna try to be mindful Oh man. Like I thought about like the the tip. The tip is easy because it's the tip. <laughs> There's no skin next to it. This is less easy. All right, but it's okay. Perfectly fine. Question mark. <laughs> Oh man. Okay. Pinky is almost done. Mm. Do I want to just peel the pinky? I 
do a little bit more there. Get a little bit, small bit more blue, just like down in that corner. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, more, and then that again. Mm. Slight bit more on the blue. I think I've said several times that the purple is more forgiving than the blue because it shows up more. Okay. Nice. Why am I whispering? I don't know. Oh, fuck yeah. I love a clean vinyl peel. Okay, we've got a little bit of, you know, just do that. We'll do some acetone cleanup once we're done with everything. Okay, win. We're winning, guys. We're winning. I'm not winning at keeping up with chat, but I'm winning at nails. Okay, moving along nicely. <laughs> Luke, I don't know if you even answered me, Luke, but it's good to see you. I know I like asked a question and then I like immediately shit. Then I immediately shit. I just got like too much polish on there and I just used a non-used corner to try and soak up some of the base. This is like not going quite as well as I like initially thought like, oh, it'll be easy. Like I, I forgot how, sh how much base, and I don't want to say how little flaky, because I mean, these are packed with flakies, but I mean, as far as trying to sponge them into an opaque situation like I, f I forgot exactly how that was how that was when I tested it but now I remember I'm gonna go ahead and do this too again the question was I hope well I guess it wasn't really a question I actually like that's kind of something I learned from Darbian because he said it was a pet peeve of his and so he tried not to do it with streamers that ask people questions and then ignore chat and don't see the answer to their question. So I've kind of taught myself out of habit not to ask people how they're doing because I know that I will have moments where I get distracted and I can't keep up with chat. I usually just say I hope you're doing well and I think I probably said that to you and it's true. <laughs> Mm. okay that's almost opaque there that's real nice mm. if i were to ask a question i suppose i could ask uh impossible birthplace when is that a bane it's a bane hi bane For just a minute, I thought I heard a precursor to vomit sound. K. 
cat people, you know what I'm talking about. All right, maybe one more application here. Maybe a little bit more blue here. I'm, I'm hoping that the last application of blue that I'm doing is helping the peel. If you're wondering, like, I thought you were done with the blue. Because, like, wet polish makes polish wet. So I'm hoping a final coat of the blue makes the base blues wet again. I'm going to have to really be mindful with my memory card. I'm going to need to remember to clear it off after stream. Because I'm not going to be editing right away. Like, a lot of times I don't think about taking stuff off the camera till it's time to edit. Um, oh, fuck. I really need to get this edge here. But in this case, that's not going to work. Mm. Okay. That felt a little dangerous. We're we're getting more dangerous as we go because the blue is more and more dry as we go. Because I didn't fully think about what I was planning. Get off of my tweezers. Oh god. Okay. Do a little scoopy scoop. Okay. I really like the way this is turning out. Like it's it's uh, living up to my vision. We'll start start on the thumb a little bit here too, while we're working on the index, finishing touches. Oh, it went well. That's good. That is very good, Luke. I mean, I hope it's good. I hope it being good is good. Yeah, no, I mean, soon, TM, question mark? It actually is is looking a lot better lately. Like, less opaque. The uh, The scar tissue kind of moves around. How you doing, buddy? You looking like a little pirate today? I don't think it'll be healed completely by the end of the year, but maybe by like Valentine's Day. We will have not a pirate bean anymore. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a year in September. Um, I remember it very clearly because it was the day after I got back from California and I was sitting outside and looked at Beanie and one of his uh, pupils was tiny and the other one was regular. And I was like, well, that's, that's fucking not okay. I had to do like emergency vet and all that stuff and we did like eye drops and shit for a while. And then the last time he was at the vet, they basically said, you know, there's some scar tissue there. It's continuing to heal. Which you could tell because there's still uh, blood vessels going into the eye, which normally there's not blood vessels in your eyeball, apparently. Um, they're there to help the healing and, like, bring additional oxygen and some shit. So it's... It moves, like it started out mostly just on like his inside corner of his eye. Then it's kind of moved across the surface of his eye. We might need two coats of top coat here. These, uh, these flaky stripes are thick. Thick. Mm. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's a good boy. We had quite a bit of beanie time earlier. Because he insisted on some lap time. So we got some beanie purrs on stream. Okay, let's just finish this thumb and we'll be done with this. I suppose, I mean, will I really use this footage? Maybe I will. I was going to say, maybe I don't even need to record the rest of the thumb, but I might as well. That's an old song, isn't it? We were talking in, I think it was in Mathulu stream. Somebody said something about eight six seven five three zero nine, and they were like people who were like, "What's that?" I mean, obviously it was in chat, so they didn't sing. But like, who doesn't sing it in their head when they see it if you know it? And so then it like sparked a talk of generations and such. And I'm like, I'm the same age as that song. I'm an old lady. <laughs> yeah, Jenny. Exactly. Because he called he called the hopper a Jenny. And somebody was like, wait, I'm sorry, what? Jenny? And then somebody was like, yo, y'all ever play that seed on Rando? And I was like, no, but we should. We should play the Jenny seed. <laughs> and then some people were like, wait, what? <laughs> and we were like, oh, man. Do we have a treat of 80s history for you? Okay. We did the thing, y'all. We did the thing. Whoop, camera, please. Why is this camera so loose? <clears throat> I mean, probably, Sam. Most seeds are cursed nowadays, right? Orange stick, please. I mean, I feel like we have way more cursed seeds than not cursed seeds. Cursed seeds are common, normal seeds are uncommon. Baby seeds are rare. Grocery stores and pharmacy. I got my overboards points. <laughs> Sam, yeah. <laughs> That's a thing. That is a thing. I had some hits back in the day. That <laughs> was just a Hollow Knight streamer. I mean, nowadays, kind of. No, I'm not just a Hollow Knight streamer. I'm still a YouTuber, and I'm going to prove it with 12 Days of Christmas. <laughs> oh. <sighs> All right. You can do a little bit of cleanup with an orange stick as you go along. And then once you've removed the vinyls, you can finish cleanup around the edges with a brush dipped in acetone. Fucking flakies. You can try to finish cleanup with a brush dipped in acetone. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. I still... I don't know, especially lately. I've been feeling just absolutely trash at video games. You know what? Maybe like a little bit of acetone and then a little bit of scraping. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the cleanup work. Like, I don't expect to be like the best Hollow Knight player, but somehow, like, I've surrounded myself with so many people that are better than me that I consider friends. And I'm just like, man... Why are these people even friends with me? I'm not good at video games. <laughs> the nail art is a nice bonus. I'm glad you think so.
All right, and then we will top coat this. And then maybe we will move on. Well, not maybe, maybe. I mean, I guess I could like, I was going to say finish tomorrow, but tomorrow's fucking Thanksgiving. Finish, finish Friday. Guys, I'm going to need a couple days break to get over this trauma of nail vinyls. Yeah, flake, flakies are a little... I, I probably, in all honesty, should have uh, taken advantage of some latex here. That would probably have been a good thing. But I didn't, so guess what? We work with what we have. And what we have is acetone to slightly re-soften the flakies and an orange stick to scrape them from my flesh. I mean, what? Am I? Like, I don't know. I mean, I know that, like, some of the things that I've done are hard things in game parlance. Does anybody ever use that word anymore? <laughs> oh, why do I just like come up with the most random ass words to use? Like, I mean, and it's not just Hollow Knight either. Like other games that I've played, like I tend to pick hard games, apparently. Um, or, or games that have like fringe sort of achievements that I, I want to go out of my way to get. Autobot told me, I forget if it's the top four or if it's now the top five of his rarest achievements on Steam are now from Unrailed, <laughs> which I thought was kind of funny. I mean, I have I haven't played that many games, so sometimes I just don't know how to how to compare it all. You know, as as an adult who only beat Super Mario Bros in the last what 90 days probably i mean much less than that i don't remember exactly when we'd had nintendo night though um <laughs> among us i i can't i can't drum up any interest for among us i just like i kind of wish i liked it because so many people are fucking playing it but like i'm not i'm not enamored of it Okay, can I maybe... Like, we got a lot of glitter around here. Oh, the battery is running, too. We're gonna need to switch the battery before the next... There we go. The next tutorial. Cotton will... You know, it, it, it gives the glitter something to grip onto more than just, uh, like, the brush. So, if you ever have, like, stubborn, stubborn stuff, I mean, obviously, like, a good hand washing will also do that, but I can't wash my hands right now, and I want it to look halfway nice to, to finish the tutorial with. There we go. Okay. Mm. See, make sure I know I've missed so much chat. I can't scroll all the way up for everything. Wait, finish Friday. Finish, finish Friday. I get it now. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty sweet of you, Entropy. Really. Okay. Top coat. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <clears throat> Once cleanup is finished, you can finish with a top. Finished and finished. Once you're done with cleanup, you can finish with a top coat. And as usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. Mm. 
then we'll see. Like, I'm going to glom it on here. We'll see if we need another layer or not. Oh, that's nice. I will definitely give you guys some flashlight time on this. Like, I think you can kind of see that it's, like, phenomenal, but you deserve a better look. Yeah, I'm going like as heavy as I possibly can on the top coat here. Like there's literally like channels in between the sponged flakies. You know what I mean? That's that's how thick the flaky section is. I think... that this is just how I pictured it. Wait, do I, we have the focus off because things are shiny. So instead of coming to the camera, let's bring the camera in. Of course, it gets a little weird when it's that close, but like... <clears throat> <laughs> mm. I mean, it doesn't seem like they're a very young sibling now, Entropy, but I bet when you were like 14 and they were whatever math that would make him, it seemed like a big gap. That's a lot. Okay. Um, flashlight. Hold on. <laughs> like the flakies are hollow. The silver's not hollow, but the silver is like reflective. So like. I think it's pretty cute. I think it's pretty cute. Yeah, Dinah was here earlier. I don't know if I missed her saying goodbye or if she was just maybe lurking or I don't know. So, oh yeah, we need a second coat for sure. It's not like bad, but there's definitely like a couple rough edges. Let's do it right now. And I'm not going to record it because it's pretty much just the same on camera as the first layer of top coat. Ooh, that's even like though. Can you guys see the difference? Like the pinky has two coats and the others. Like it once it's smooth. <laughs> Like, it's even better. Like, dude. Merp. Love it. Love it. Now. Polo right hand. We need to make sure that polo right hand comes out of this okay, too. I think it should be fine, though. Because for one thing, we're only going to be placing... It's kind of weird. The The blue on the corner, can you see that? It's like a lump. It's like a chonk. A lumpy, chonky, thick boy of polish, but just on the corner. Um, only having to place one vinyl will make it easier. The question still is which color goes on the tip and which color goes on the not tip. I'm trying to like, there's like a gap right there. I'm trying to just like, oh, actually that worked. Like flood it with polish till it's even. 
You know what else would probably make this easier to see? Ooh. <laughs> you ever have a stack and you pull something out like Jenga and then it's like, motherfuck? It's, it's so shiny, it's just hard. The camera is just struggling the fuck. Like in in person, the thing the thing with the the foil collection, the metallic foil collection, is it's so shiny. The colors wash out more on camera than they do in person, and including like the stripe colors. Ooh, that's kind of an interesting angle. That is also like I have to get it in indirect light for you guys to see how bright and colorful the stripes actually are because I mean look at the reflection they're shiny can you guys tell they're fucking shiny but they're also like colorful the blue is actually like an electric blue and the purple is like very intense also hey angel mm. oh Oh no, you don't, I mean, everybody knows it happens, but you're not supposed to put it to your kid like that. Kinky stuff, I mean, if if uh, sparkling things make you horny, you've come to the right place. I mean, what? <laughs> are you a, are you a hollow sexual? Do you need sparkling rainbow things in your life? What if I just like turn this down like quite a bit like not off but just down that actually helps like to not have quite as much ring light on it and like I mean this can you not see some presents wrapped up in this shit like that's gift wrap vibes I wasn't inspired by gift wrap but I figured that we would have some gift wrap vibes and we like 100% do it's got like a depth which is not fake like, we've smoothed it out with the top coat, but there is actually, well, it actually is, like, the reverse of what it looks like. It, like, it looks like you could dive into the flakies, when in, re in reality, they're a taller section than the silver section. I really like this. <laughs> Son. <laughs> hmm. So... Hand, other hand, second hand, night hand. Um, I think we're going to go with the rounded French. Do I want to go purple tips or blue tips? I think I want to go purple tips because I think the blue will be easier to fade into the silver. Huh? Like the blue stands on its own. It does. It's It's got that electric blue vibe. But like what, what we're thinking about is we're going to place the vinyl, the French tip vinyl. And then we're going to have a slice at the top and we're going to have a section under on the bottom. And the slice at the top will be solid, and then the slice at the bottom will be, like, gradiented. World of Warcraft. The grinding game. That's, I mean, I know war, war, there has to be fun stuff, but it seems like whenever I hear somebody talking about Warcraft, they're just talking about grinding. That one? <laughs> uh, please don't copyright strike me <laughs> um and enjoy your evening entropy thanks for hanging out i kind of think i need a bathroom break before i do my other hand like i'm not in dangerous potty territory yet but like considering how long the sponging on this took um yeah, I think I better take a bathroom break. So, give this just another. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> okay, look, 
if you are a streamer, or maybe it's just me, like you've had a stream where you're like, I'll just go once I'm done. And then like, it's taking you a little bit longer than you thought to wrap up whatever you were doing, whether it's nails or a game or whatever. And you're sitting there looking for a raid target and you're like, I fucking don't even care where I send these people. I need to go pee. I mean, or maybe it's just me. Gonna mobile lurk. All right, Luke. I, I don't, I didn't see if you, if you answered me earlier, or if you tactfully just ignored the question about impossible birthplace, but <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna give you shit about it just lightly every now and then, but not seriously, because really, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. And if you do want to do it, you can certainly do it in your own time and place. But I hope you have a lovely rest of your evening and a lovely turkey day. I, to everybody by the way whether you're chatting or lurking or whatever if you've been here for a little bit or if you like all of a sudden just came here i hope you have a nice day tomorrow if if you're having stress and there's ways to minimize the stress i hope you can do that because stress is dicks pretty much <laughs> just smashing end and running to the restroom yeah, no, if you see me and I'm sitting here and I'm kind of like, it's fun host. Like if, I, if you could tell I'm dancing in my chair, it's dangerous potty territory. I not like, I'd like to add like not actually dangerous, but like you, you feel, you feel like you are less of an adult for the amount of time that you've waited to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, what am I doing here? I'm dancing in my chair. I'm a grown up. I shouldn't be waiting this long. Mm. Yes, also that. That's like, yeah. All right. I think we're good here. I can still, there's ripples here. We're not doing a third coat of top coat because we're only going to have this on for a couple days and because it looks good as it is. Um. Yeah, you can kind of see a little bit there. We don't have fully, fully smooth profiles. We get, we got a little bit of ripples in there where where ripples have ridges. No ridges have ripples. Rough. <laughs> I don't know what I, what I was going for there. As a reminder, I'm still very tired. I've just got all the stream adrenaline running through me, and that's what's going to carry us through part two of this manicure. Yeah, but they're not ruffles. their nails <laughs> um and they're not ridged they're they're rippled so the ridges have ripples <laughs> mm. all right we are going to find you guys music once again if you're putting in bets and the bet isn't on unwritten return what are you even doing and then we'll come back and do these things in just a few minutes like i even just thinking about getting up and going all the way downstairs to the bathroom like all of a sudden i feel exhausted but it's okay the second hand will be easier i can't guarantee that but i'm gonna try so hard for the second hand to be easier oh <sighs> <laughs> um and then after stream i'm gonna have food because food is important even though tomorrow is food day but food today is also important okay wait what what did i wait written whim <laughs> ridged for her simple little pleasure i'll be right back you guys if you need your own break uh now's the time go get some water take a potty pet your animal i hope i almost said pet your cat and i thought you know you guys are lewd i mean or or pet your dog like also okay let me just let me just stop let me just stop i'll be right back
Thank you for your patience, everybody. <laughs> the, I don't have the missile pack. That's Dr. Crotron. Who I'm kind of surprised hasn't like peeked in since we're dealing with shiny metallic things. Just like walking through the rest of the house too, like looking at this in other lights. So fucking pretty. Okay, that was my tummy. My other cameras really are dicks. Like you can see something pink is going on here. I can see in person one section okay like i'm i know i'm nitpicking but like there's a section right here where i wish there was a little bit more blue it's fine uh, excuse me but i wish okay so oh fuck <laughs> left-handed vinyls what could be funner <laughs> oh, it'll be fine. Okay, so we're going to want to probably lift this corner. We're only going to need five of these. All right. Sometimes they stick together too, so I'm just making sure they're like separated ish. Separated ish. Fake it. Fake it with a. Oh, we got to change the battery with a fresh quote unquote napkin that's really just the other side of the same napkin. The other corner, I guess I should say. I should say. <laughs> like, yeah. That'd be funny. Or maybe. If you start just naming like power tools and uh, shop, shop fixins, table saw, ooh, shelving units. <laughs> mm. <laughs> It's cute when cats snore, usually. Okay. Camera has the fresh battery. But the battery is going to get charged. Come on, please plug into the hole. Okay. I'm nervous. I don't, I like, uh, why am I nervous? Like, just because I'm recording on my right hand? Like, yeah, but, like, why, though? Where's the edge on camera? All right, I know you guys can see the edge, but the tutorial camera can't see the edge. Too loud for cute. Clark will Clark will grumble when he's eating his dinner. He'll be like in there, he'll be like rum, 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 rum. <laughs> Okay, nothing to be worried about. Just do the thing that I usually do on the other hand. On this hand. <clears throat> Once your base is fully dry, you can go ahead and apply vinyls. For this one, I'm going to be using French tip vinyls, kind of the traditional shape. And I'm going to be applying it at the tip so that there's an equal spot at the top for all nails, if that makes sense. We're going to be doing purple at the tip and then blue at the bottom. And why? Okay, like you want to know... How not brain my brain is why was I thinking the blue would be easy to gradient into the silver when we're not using silver 
on this hand. Riddle me this. Um, that looks okay. We could even them out after placement, of course. We're just trying to get a general, a general idea. It's got, it's like static. It wants to just grab. Sometimes it wants to grab in an inappropriate location. No vinyl. Don't touch me there. Like that. Question mark. Oh, fuck. These goddamn tweezers. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Nail salt. <sighs> Y'all know what time it is when the nail salt comes out. It's called fucking we've been streaming nails too long time. Oh, this is so hard. Left handed. I hate it. Please, please stick. Please stick. Stick. You were sticking before. Now it doesn't want to stick. Now there's a hair on there. Oh, jeez. Please, god damn it. Okay. Take it. I'll take it. And you might think to yourself, man, are those tweezers even worth it, Colette? Maybe you should try doing it with your fingers. <laughs> I know. You, mi you might think such a thing. You'd, you'd be thought wrong. Okay. I don't know if this is going to look as cool as I think it's going to look. Because we've actually done zero actual testing of this. But you know what? We're going to assume that my instincts are correct and that it's going to be cool. Okay? Just just assume that like 10 years of nail polish instincts will come through and it'll all be all okay. All right? kind of having to we got we got chubby sidewalls here like if I'd been slick I could have maybe lined up the edge with the edge but like I'm not that slick even enough I feel like this could move toward the tip a little bit like That was very, very minimal. I don't want to fuck with these anymore. Are these even enough? That It's fine, right? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, we've got a half hour left of recording time on the memory card. <laughs> All right, now... Let's... Cut that. Oops. And cut this so we've got fresh edges. <clears throat> yeah, that actually, I mean, that actually could be like a, a look all on its own. I think I actually have a matte and glossy, like black French tip look in like my Pinterest board somewhere. Okay, so let's open both of these. I pretty much explained what I'm doing, so I don't think I'm, I don't, I don't, I'm not even narrating this part. Fuck it. I'm going to turn this into the blue one and this into the purple one, because the purple one's a little bit wider, but it doesn't matter because the tip. We're going to have to be more mindful of the lower portion, I think. Okay, that's open. That's open. Also, yeah, I mean, like, the, the this hand turned out kind of Christmas rappy. I don't want to say accidentally, but 
doesn't it doesn't have to be Christmassy just because it's 12 days of Christmas. Festive. It has to somehow be able to be in a, made an excuse of being festive. All right, so we're going to do the tip and then we're going to... Mm -mm -mm. Also, like I, the black vinyl left a black residue on my sponge. Mm. Okay. That's okay. You see that? First I thought it was like the base and I was like, no, this base has been dry for hours and there's a top coat. It's the fucking vinyl. Whoa. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty opaque. Now this part like is slightly tricky because I want to like mostly concentrate this like right at the vinyl line. Right. So that we have a, a an opaque blue line right below the vinyl. Right? And then it's kind of fades. Right? Oh, goodness. We can kind of get like this a little bit too. Oh, did you guys hear that little sound? All right, that's not the smoothest gradient. We're We're rolling with it. We're calling it there. We're calling it there. Moment of truth. Is it cool? Fuck. Tweezers, please. Is it cool? Is it cool? It's cool enough. Fuck, what am I going to do if it's not cool at this point? Cry? I might cry. I might cry. It, it's cool enough not to cry, I think. <laughs> yes, it's cool. Thank you, son. I don't feel like I have much of a French tip curve on the pinky, but the pinky is so small. It shows up so much easier against the black. Like we're barely having to do two layers. I guess also it's because I don't have to work in such an extremely skinny spot. Like I can kind of work with a little bit more area of the sponge. Whoa. Mm hmm okay trying to make sure to keep this on camera like the first layer of blue is kind of just whatever just trying not to get it back on the purple. Maybe I should be doing the blue first? Question mark? Maybe I'll try that on the next nail. And then if I do accidentally get any on the tip, I can just like go over it. That's smart. Okay. 
Glom, glom, glom. A little bit more. Like right. Oh, you guys are at kind of a weird little angle there, too. I can fix that in a second. Please grab. Please grab this. Please grab this. Oh, this fucking... Ugh. I should just get my other tweezers, honestly. There we go. It's cool. Okay, it's cool. It's cool. It's maybe not quite as cool as I pictured in my head. Like, as far as head-to-nail translation, uh, left hand wins. The, the hand, the head, the head-to-nail translation. Let's try it this blue first this time. Because it doesn't really matter, I don't think. But I think it actually would make sense, like, logically. Easier to correct mistakes? I mean... The easiest to correct mistake is the mistake that's not made, right? Just don't fuck up, forehead. Yeah, I can see the sweater vibes. I mean, as far as, like, inspiration, I can't say, like, specifically where this is quote-unquote inspired from or by. I kind of was just, like, looking at vinyls and thinking of ideas. Had the previous idea, which was, like, an all-black tip. Like, basically, what I'm doing right now with the blue, except without the purple tip. But I wanted to like find a way to incorporate both um and so then i thought about this like keeping somewhat level of consistency between the nails also is slightly challenging There. I think that'll do. We'll come in with the purple. Now, did I actually end up getting any blue on the top? No. So, I, you know, it was an unnecessary worry, but, like, if I had got some blue on the top, then we would just be, you know, going over it right now. A little bit more. This is definitely like just because of the less fucking around with vinyls and because of the less like precise nature of the like the sections, like the where I'm putting the flakies. Like, this is going a lot faster than the other hand, which is good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's do it that way again. Now, like you see, I'm kind of like the edges. You could cut the edges or you could trim the edges. Like they kind of have problems when they like 
go too far over the edge of the nails. I'm just like, I'm too lazy right now to even fuck around with it. I don't think it's a reach. I don't like, I don't have any inspiration. So I, I mean, I generally won't like make, make a manicure. And then like after the fact, be like, Oh, this is inspired by a sweater when it wasn't. But I, I feel the sweater vibes. I feel the sweater vibes. I feel like too, for whatever reason, like doing like this and coming at it this way also feels like easy, an easy way to do it on my right hand. I don't, I guess it's partly like the angle that I have to hold my hand and that I have to hold the sponge. It's definitely when you're working on your offhand, I mean, we're not doing the same design, but we're doing the same technique. When you're working on your offhand, find ways to make it comfortable. I wanted to find a way where I can, you know, concentrate at the lip of the vinyl and holding it like this is easier than going at it the other way, right? Why? Who knows? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter why. If it's easier, then it works. It doesn't, I mean, you, that's not always the case. Like sometimes it does matter why things work the way they do, but this is not one of those times. I'm going to say that's good enough. And it doesn't not matter only because I'm tired. Hey, Marmo. It, it doesn't matter because what matters here is results. Get this opaque. Probably at least one more layer. Oh, and then we'll have poor little right thumb, and then we'll have a uh, top coat, which, like, I don't. There's a little bit of a ridge, right? Like the the flakies have to be built up a goodly amount to be fully opaque, but they're not as ridged as over the silver. So that's nice. A little bit more. Whoop. Like that. That's kind of, kind of thick. I feel like I kind of need to maybe soak up a little bit more of the base, but I don't see so like I, I maybe should have moved my spot on here. You can see from the side that it's like soaked. I'll, I'll move it for the thumb. Put a little right thumb. We'll get a fresh section of sponge. Oh, come on. Grab it. Grab it. Pull it. Put it over here. Merp. Getting shit off of the tweezer is a pain in the butt, too. By the way, if I hadn't made that clear. Like, abundantly clear. Now, the blue I was having less trouble with. Maybe because I was using a larger area in the first place for the sponging. <laughs> Nail sorcery, Marmo. Offhand and the thumb. Like, the thumb is always a little bit different than the regular fingers but this is especially like Mur. um man and, and like doing it on camera too is a little bit tricky this might be one where actually it is very beneficial to have done the blue first because I feel like I'm getting somewhere it doesn't really belong We're almost done, though. So, Marm, what's going on in a general sort of way is I'm working on my my 12 Days of Christmas series. What's going on in a more specific way is we're sponging flaky glitter until it's opaque with a vinyl to guide us that we're going to peel off once we're done. 
feel like. Okay. And then we'll top coat and then we'll be done and we'll be happy. Yeah. This one's got like a glom of polish. We're just going to go on this like complete other side here. Oh my god. Fuck. It's fine, but fuck. I the sponge stuck on the finished manicure hand. And I wiped it off, and now that part's not smooth anymore. I'm going to have to retop coat just that nail. It's fine. It's I mean, it's not super fine, but it is actually fine. If you know what I mean? And by actually fine, I mean it will be fine. If it will be fine, then it's fine, right? That's how that works. I mean, I feel like that's how that should work. Mm. Yeah. Well, my initial reaction as soon as I saw it was to wipe it very roughly on, uh, on the napkin that I'm working on. And then I was like, that's not dry all the way through. It's surface dry. That could be a problem. I could have fucked up a whole nail, but I don't think I actually did. I think it's fine. We'll see in a second here once I finish this. I mean, and that's just a risk you run when you're doing both your hands at the same time. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Oh, come on. Grab it. Mer. There we go. Okay. I feel like maybe I would have liked a thinner line there, but it's too late now. I don't know if you guys can even tell. Right there. We're just gonna... Like, I don't think I actually... Yeah, so... Let's see if I can get this on screen real quick. Well, let's, let's close these. So we don't spill them. Um... This is where I wiped it. And there's no blue there. So the patchy spots that I see in the blue are patchy spots that were already there. And I just didn't notice them before. Um, so what I'm just gonna do. It, it's like a dull, it, like it dulled the finish. I don't, I don't think I can even, yeah, there we go. You see how it's like, merp. we'll just top coat it again, it'll be fine. See, just like new. Now it's shiny again. Okay. Now we shall top coat the right hand. And then we're going to call it a night. Do I need to like do clean up here? We'll cheat it. We're not, we'll do it off camera. No, I won't. Once you've removed the vinyls, you can do any cleanup around the edges with a small brush or with a Q tip dipped in acetone. Like I said, the Q-tip grabs onto those flakies a little better, so that's why I'm... I, I didn't really get too much down in, like, in the, the crease between the nail and the nail wall, so I don't really feel like I need my brush. 
Got quite a bit on the end of the thumb here, though. There we go. Okay. Now, top coat. Well, you know, I thought that the squeezers, like these are tweezers, they're closed normally. You squeeze them to open them. I thought those would be better. I don't know if they really are. Um, I do prefer like a pointed tweezer for vinyls because my logic is there's less for the vinyl to get stuck on. Like you want it to be more stuck on your nail than it is stuck to whatever you're using to apply it. Oh, because they slip. That sounds like they don't actually have a very good... Like this one, I was disappointed to see it's not like the whole entire flat edge, but it's still got a decent like tip grip. It's just like 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 facial tweezers. Like if you have tweezers that don't have that grip and you go to like get a little hair poking out somewhere you don't want a little hair poking out and you can't grab it, like that's instant real life salty rage. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Once you're done with any cleanup, you can finish with a top coat. And as usual, I'm using Sesh Vite. All right, the additional sparkliness coming to life. We'll see how they feel after one coat. These might be able to get away with one coat because the the ripple is not as deep. The ridge ripple is uh, on the shallower side. Might still be noticeable though. Wrapping all the tips and all the side walls. Sometimes, too, like if you have a really deep ridge, like you got to make sure not to like skate over it too fast with your top coat. You can leave bubbles behind, like you can trap air in the little valley, if you know what I mean. Like, you know, picture if something's just skating over a corner and there's that empty corner left behind. Kind of the same problem that happens with uh, stamping plates when you scrape sometimes. The polish doesn't go all the way down in the corner that you scraped over. So, I love these more. I thought I'd like the black better, but I like the silver more. I might like the black better if the black line at the tip were slightly thinner. It does have somewhat of a balance to it, though. Maybe I should have made the purple at the tip slightly wider. The, the thing is, so, a lot of times with vinyls, I don't test what I'm doing because I don't like wasting vinyls on tests but also because vinyls are particular to nail shape it's harder to get an accurate test like in my swatch book like now now that it's done obviously I can say oh obviously I should have made the purple tips a little bit wider Maybe not, though, because then it also kind of almost graduates a little bit, like a, a purple tip, a slightly wider black tip, and then a slightly wider blended blue strip. So, day one, day two. Oh, yeah, we got to do a second layer. Can you if we get a little profile shot here? It's not really showing too much, but there is, that one shows. See how it almost looks like there's a little, little chunketh out of the tip. Let's do one more layer of top coat. 
smooth everything that needs to be smoothed. And then I expect they might still be, like you might be able to feel it, but like the other one, I'm not going to, I'm not actually going to go for like glass, smooth, perfection, flawless level of stuff. So, after this, I will do the intros and the outros and have a bite to eat. Tomorrow will be Thanksgiving. We might be back. We might not. I might not see you guys till Friday. Saturday will be nails again. Probably somewhere in there, I should find some time to clean. Especially, you know, I wonder if the missing green straight vinyls are with the missing blue pigment. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, son. I hope you rest well. <laughs> it seems like Buttsbot disproportionately butterflies hellos and goodbyes or goodnights. Am I wrong? I'm I'm 95% happy with this. I'm 75% happy with this. It's fine. Hey, HM. Thank you. I, well, you, you just heard. <laughs> like, oh, before, before I start looking for somewhere to raid you guys, I want to, I want to show you guys the black with flashlight. I don't know if you're already gone, son, but flashlight time, if you're not quite gone yet. Okay, I like okay, it just it just bumped up like at least 5%. We're now 80% happy with these. Because I wish I could get like an actual better angle, but like I feel like <clears throat> the hollow pops a little bit more against the black cream base versus the hollow popping against the like silver very metallic reflective base. Yeah, Zuli, thank you. I don't, like, I don't dislike them. I just, I feel like maybe I should have done something different and I'm not even exactly sure what. Other than, like I said, possibly make the, the purple at the tip a little bit wider. Or make the black a little bit skinnier. Or both. No, probably just one or the other. Like a purple, if the purple, if the purple tip were this width... A slightly skinnier black. If the purple tip were wider than this with the black might be okay. Although then too, like that starts pushing the blue down further. I mean, the bottom of the black is already below where my smile line would be. Maybe that's part of it too. This might actually work better on slightly l more length than what I'm dealing with right now. Like it would have been nice to be able to place the vinyls what I would consider normally for a French tip instead of like what I did was you can see there's a little bit of a lump right there too. Um, what I did was basically place it to have a consistent uh, size at the tip of the nail. <laughs> hey peasant. Mm. Yeah, I like the one. Yeah, I me I remember having in like junior high, like a like a like a dressy suit dress with a wide ass belt. <laughs> ah, fashion. <laughs> yeah, Th this one is better to me, purely and simply because it's closer to what I imagined. Right. That always. And I guess, you know, this one can't be that close to what I imagined because I did not have a firm image in my head. I shouldn't hold it against this hand. Poor little right hand. <laughs> yeah, with some heck yeah, some shoulder pads, dude. All right. Um, so I rambled about what may or may not be going on tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, we'll call it 50-50. Friday, quite good chance of stream, although like, 
you know, the, the energy and the sleeping definitely are still like I'm dealing with some things. Saturday will be the next manicure where we will be working with, uh, the cellophane. So we'll be working with these. Well, this is, this is this, this is this. They have very different personalities over black and white. Um, and I, I, I think I have an idea. Like I said, I kind of want to do like an inter, not interwoven exactly, not intersecting exactly, but like a jaggedy, like a jaggedy looking thing where the triangles like, so if we have like, you know, some coming from the top like this, then we would have the other color coming from the bottom like that or and or I mean we got black and white from the side like that and then have it alternate like that or maybe something completely different <laughs> um but something to do with the cellophane one or both we haven't decided yet one year I was gonna do ornaments out of this yeah this shit don't want a hole punch I suppose I could manually try to cut out flawless little ornament circles, but that doesn't sound like fun. Um, cleaning my room also doesn't sound like fun, but that would be like immensely helpful to actually being able to find the shit that I want to use on my nails. Oh. So yeah, maximum shiny. They're, they're, I mean, they're both pretty maximum shiny in different ways. Like, what is shinier than a glossy, glossy black? I mean, if anything, it's a metallic silver, but is it actually glossier or shinier or is it just shiny in its own special way? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, let's see what's going on in Twitch world. Not which world, Twitch world. <laughs> Um, hmm. hmm, I think, well, math is still on. He's been going for a long ass time. I wonder if he's on his second or his third rando. Spooky's still up too. Um, Yonso is still on that Roy is on Pickles is jewelry making maybe I think we're gonna continue the nail art love though because I like doing that when I have the opportunity to do it um also if you are new and would like to join my discord so that you can keep up to date on all of the things uh please feel free um, I'm going to raid us over to Nanny Nails. She was hanging out in here earlier. She is working on a manicure. I think it looks like maybe decals. Um, so if you would like to simple little raid with me, uh, get your beanies ready. Thank you, Wim. Thank you, everybody. Like, dude, there were a couple points in stream where I ignored chat for a long time because we were like with like picture little magnifying glass on the nails um overall this is good like whether i love this or not we have two out of 12 tutorials recorded and like we even had some discussion on some of the other things we have some progress we'll be back with more nails on saturday and i like i feel like i i like i knock on wood actually like knock on wood not on my silicone mat this may be the earliest head start I don't, I don't think I've ever gotten the series started before Thanksgiving maybe last year but I kind of don't think so I would like literally have to go back and look at my stream dates to see so we started before Thanksgiving we've got two tutorials recorded we're doing good the countdown is happening I hope you enjoyed 
I hope I'll see you next time. I hope you have a good rest of your day. What's up? Is my, do I have volume? Is, uh, oh, there is sound. I was like, I can't hear oh anything. Goodness. Of course, if you are on YouTube, I hope you enjoy it as well. Please feel free to so, subscribe. And if you'd like to join me live, you can come follow at twitch.tv slash MSLP. I suppose this will go up after day two, since it's the behind the scenes for both of these. It would be kind of difficult to cut it into two. Yeah, I guess it will go up after day two. Anyway, I have other things to do. I have food to eat. I have sleep to attempt. Uh... Thank you for watching. Um, full days of Christmas.